Hello. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, guys? Um, I'm so excited. My name is Arabella. I'm here um, with Jesus Ramirez, digital artist, and he's founder of the Photoshop training channel on YouTube. Um, if you missed yesterday's live stream, make sure to go watch the replay. Um, you can go to <laughs> behance.net slash live um, and check that out because we are here for day two. And we're really excited. Um, say hi in the chat. We'd love to know where you're watching from. Um, yeah, we we love people from everywhere, and <laughs> it's just really cool to see. Yeah, just like, a bunch of familiar just, faces. Uh, yeah, a lot of familiar faces, a lot of new faces. Let There's us know if you Voodoo Val, are new. Plotty, Patty, oh, Voodoo Val is joining Francisco. us today. Francisco. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Franklin. Hi, Claudi. Hi, Anathai. Oh, I remember him from yesterday. <laughs> nice to see you again, too. Awesome. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, yeah, we're super stoked. We have yeah. a really awesome day today. So if we can pull up the schedule, um, we can check out what's happening. So what is you happening just today? watched uh, Voodoo Val with her Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge. Um, the challenge for today was to use Adobe Capture and Halftones mm -hmm. to create a comic book style um, action promo. So that was cool. You can watch the replay of that and make sure you submit because we'll be reviewing those. Nice. And then we've got Jesus Ramirez for the next two hours and then Sam Anderson at 11.30 and Cody Brown at uh, noon for the XD um, Fun filled live stream. day. So really fun. We've got someone from Argentina, from Thailand. Ooh. Oh, amazing. Germany. Wisconsin. Hi, Axel. Hi, Patty. Hi, Jordan. Thank you all for joining us from Germany, Wisconsin. We've got yeah. a lot of people in I've the taken house. a picture in the Welcome to Wisconsin sign. <laughs> I did awesome. a cross country trip from um, California, Oakland, yeah. um, to Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. And Wisconsin is one of the places where we Aww. took a, a photo of, yeah. of the sign. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a lot of people in the house. So, yeah, I just want to show guys. everybody my Photoshop shirt. Yeah, it's like, it's doing this little thing today. It's doing this, so, this, this I love cool it. I love it. It's so good. I love, that's like the perfect image every time I, I know I'm like working on something. Cool. Thank you guys for joining us. Columbia. So we're really excited. Michigan, um, Thailand. Yeah. So let's, let's get into oh, it. We do it. have a chat and win though about a uh, half hour in. So make sure that you are active in the chat because you'll get a chance to win some stickers from Sticker Mule. Um, yeah. So just ask questions, be in the chat, talk to us if you have, if you just want to say hi. Um, anything you want to know from Jesus, he's here with us for the next two hours. So um, take advantage of that. <laughs> cool. So nice. yeah, uh, I'll let you enter yourself. Um, <laughs> sure. That's always the weirdest part talking I know. about myself. <laughs> that's again. That's why you're here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So my name is Jesus Ramirez. For those of you that don't know me, uh, most of you probably know me from the Photoshop training channel, which is my YouTube channel, which is what people are looking at on the screen now. We're, um, it's a YouTube channel where I publish. Photoshop tutorials. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> yeah. It would be weird if I taught something else, but I just called it Photoshop Painting Channel and I, yeah, I did like yeah. no, that's Microsoft awesome. Paint or something. <laughs> um, but anyway, so if you guys uh, want to check me out, you can check me out there. Yeah. Obviously. And he's popping up in some of the daily creative challenges. If you haven't seen him before, you probably have seen him there. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. I have another one coming up on awesome. the last week of the month. So do you get to create those? like yourself or do you have like a guideline or how do you like do you come up with those yeah so lessons? Uh, yeah me and a couple of the people who work here oh, come up with awesome. the lessons so yeah that's cool they're really fun um, i've done i think three um obviously voodoo val's doing some this week yeah claudia from print my soul did one so did uh, them two weeks ago i think mm -hmm. it was so mm -hmm. yeah cool um but yeah uh Oh, somebody said the Miles Spider-Man piece looks Aww. amazing. I don't know if they were talking about the one from yesterday or the, or the one, this on, one on yeah. this one. But, yeah, if you didn't um, watch the, the stream yesterday, he was working on a really fun um, composite um, with his friend's kid, right? Yeah, Who, my, um, may or may not be Spider-Man. May Spider or may not be Spider-Man, we, we don't know. We've you never know? seen them We've both in the same yep. room at the same time. Yeah, that's so. that's what we know. Hints yeah. right there. So, but yeah, check that out um, if you want to see that composite being come to life. So yeah, but we're working on some other stuff today. So yeah, it'll, it'll be it'll be a fun day. I'm actually curious to know, and please let us know in the chat how many of you are familiar with Adobe Fuse. Are Adobe you? Fuse. I actually don't. Um, don't know. No. Yeah. All right. So, so if you guys enlighten me, open up <laughs> your. Adobe Creative Cloud app. Okay. This is what it looks like on Windows. It looks very mm -hmm. similar on mm -hmm. a Mac. I've seen that window before. <laughs> and you probably go in here to update Photoshop or any other app that you use. Mm -hmm. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, all the way to the bottom, you'll see this application Got called okay. Fuse CC. 
few CC. Got a people. I've got a few people who haven't heard of it, so I'm glad that you're showing okay, us all. Okay, that's <laughs> super cool. Um, this app is really cool. It works great with Photoshop. It, it allows you to create custom 3D characters for Photoshop. Mm. So it's super super cool. Oh, cool. And um, what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna take a 3D model and we're gonna work on it together. We're gonna ask people what cool. they want to see in the background, Amazing. or maybe like what color shirt. Uh, you know, for the 3D model, we're going to apply, um, we're going to bring, bring that 3D model into Photoshop and then we're going to animate it and, you know, just make it so look super, super fun. cool. So, um, for those of you that want to follow along, make sure that you um, open Fuse CC or first of all, install it. If you, mm -hmm. if you, if haven't, you haven't heard haven't about it, it, you probably yeah, don't have it first. installed. So, install it and then we'll work with Few CC. <laughs> Someone asked, is it for electricians? <laughs> <laughs> no, not electricians, but it's to animate, right? To it's uh yeah, to like basically 3D. create 3D characters so and fun. you animate them and composite them in Photoshop. Yeah. And actually, if you don't know what any of the Adobe apps do, obviously you have the title in a dark mm -hmm. black font, but in a light gray, you can see what, what the it, app does. So okay. cool. for Few CC, you can see that this allows you to make um, uh, custom 3D characters for your Photoshop projects. So that's cool. what we're going to do today. That's exciting. And actually, um, Adobe has a really cool video on YouTube on what it does. And I'll, oh. I'll just let me see if I can like find a it really tutorial. quick. Um, it's more like a like a an example of it. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to find it uh, quickly enough, but it's um, it was a promotional piece Ooh. where there was a, a an American football player. Uh, this one right here. Um, so I'm not gonna play the whole video, but you guys can check it out. It's called Predicting Big Game Moments with Adobe Fuse CC. So basically you can take the app uh, to generate the, the, the 3D model, wow, which is what we're going incredible. to do. Uh, apply dirt, all kinds of stuff to the 3D model. Mm -hmm. Then you can take that into Photoshop, composite the model like you would composite anywhere else. Mm -hmm. But since we're working with 3D, you also have the capability of adjusting the lighting, the position, um, and almost anything yeah. that you want. And you can create That's a composite incredible. that looks like that. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, we're not exciting. gonna use a football player. We're gonna use a zombie because Halloween is coming up. Halloween so is coming up. I feel up. that. Is that anybody's favorite holiday? <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys dressing up as? Yeah. What, is what should we dress up as? as? Oh my goodness. <laughs> cool. That's awesome. Yeah. So well, that's, we're excited that's, to see. That's what we're gonna work on uh, today. So. Make sure to go follow his Instagram. J R oh, yeah. oh, from oh, PTC. The, yeah. Thank you. Um, Instagram <laughs> Jar for PTC. Yes. Check it out. Check <laughs> thank it you out. Very go much. follow him. Give him some love. Yes. <laughs> Um, cool. So yeah, I'm gonna open up Adobe Fuse, and that way we could just get started with the uh, with the app. Ooh, I We're love not gonna that spend. Little, yeah, little it's a super graphic. cool little cool. graphic, right? Yeah. We're not gonna spend too much time here. I just want to show you guys how it works. Um, so let me just make this window a little bit bigger so that we can see. Ooh. So the first step is to pick a head <laughs> for a 3D <laughs> yeah. model. Kind of just start building out somebody. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of like Sims. Did you ever play Sims? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was a big, uh, I played Sims and I also played Civilization. I was okay. a big fan of okay. Civilization. Um, awesome. When is Halloween? Is the 31st? Um, like 31st, that, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's about <laughs> in like two and a half weeks, something like that? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. We've got someone wanting to be Tim, uh, a character from the Tim Burton movie. <laughs> cool. So Alberto is asking if we're doing Adobe, Adobe Fuse, we're just gonna use it to create the 3D model and we're gonna bring that into Photoshop and yes. we're gonna work on it from there. So we'll be doing a little Fuse and then mostly Bringing Photoshop. Bringing it over in Photoshop, yeah. awesome. So um, the first step is to select a head. So we're gonna work with a zombie and that's what I Exciting. want for this. <laughs> Love it. So you can I just click on the head that you want to use. You don't have to use the zombie in your project, you can use whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But once you once you select oh the head, gosh. you can see it. <laughs> the detail in this. It's so crazy because you can crazy. you can uh, click and drag and rotate and see. Oh my gosh. The zombie and I could like you know like click on on parts of his face and, you and see how like I'm dragging drag it. it. Yeah, see and that. Make it. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. So what a unique tool. Super cool. Um, you can spend hours, of course. Of course. Fine tuning your your zombie <laughs> any way that you want. I'm not going to spend too much time because right, right. I want to get into the Photoshop. But you can definitely do this, um, uh, spend time fine tuning it as much as you want uh, on your yeah. own time. Um, then you can select a body. I'm just, I could select any body that I want, but I'm gonna stick, <laughs> you wanna, maybe you should do like a really built <laughs> a really zombie. Built. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go into uh, uh, the, the zombie. I like how they called it male fit zombie. Wow. Not like, you know, fat zombie <laughs> yeah. or out of shape zombie. Oh. <laughs> 
Um, but anyway, so you can do the That's same fun. thing here. You know, you can drag, yeah. you know, pieces. So technically you could turn it into a fat zombie if yeah, you really wanted it. to. There you go. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I don't know what I did there. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Let me undo that. Too but many anyway. humans, too many. Yeah. Um, oh, everyone's really digging the fuse. That's so awesome. then, uh, so what's cool about Adobe products, you can like use different ones and like bring it into yeah. Photoshop or wherever you're, Exactly. You know. And with the Creative Cloud, they'll sync with each other yeah, and work right with each really other. Yeah, which is really cool. So I'm just gonna um, go, and, uh, go ahead and click on the zombie body parts, right? So now yeah. we have our zombie, there he is. He yeah. looks like the Redeemer in Brazil, which I would love <laughs> to go see, but I've never been. Um, <laughs> so you can click and rotate and check out your zombie. Again, you can just hover over the different yeah. pieces and you know, maybe he's been doing a lot of calf races. So, you know. Yeah, it's got. Now he's got big fit. calves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fit. <laughs> um, but anyway, so there he is, right? And you'll, you'll notice these buttons right up here. Mm -hmm. So I can go into clothing and now I can give him a shirt. See, oh, cool. there's tops, bottoms, shoes, hair. So all this cool stuff. So, um, what do you? What kind of shirt should we give him? A dress shirt, mm. maybe like a firefighter jacket, oh my gosh. or maybe he's a cop. Um, you know, maybe, maybe a cop would be kind of fun. Okay, so we'll we'll do a cop. Oh my goodness! And now he's got a cop <laughs> shirt. <laughs> And now we can, How cool. you can leave them without pants, but I, I think oh. he should be wearing pants. <laughs> yeah, probably. So uh, let's go to the bottoms and then you can select the different kinds of- A lot of fun uh, options. Yeah, a lot sure. of fun options. Then you can scroll down. Um, if he's got a cop top, then maybe the police uniform pants will be the way to go mm -hmm. for the bottoms. So yeah, yeah. So, yeah so very it's, cool. Very cool. Now the cool thing about this is that you can also um, go into the textures mm -hmm. right here where it says textures. You can click on a, on a body part. Okay. So now we have the texture for the cop uniform, and there's a lot of cool stuff. For example, right here where it says dirt wear, I can mm, increase the dirt like level. How dirty. And like see, oh, that's so. So cool. now yeah, so it's like you know maybe he's like crawling through yeah you maybe know like he's, a back alley yeah, somewhere yes. and now he's dirty so he doesn't yes. look so clean. And again, there's so many different controls. We that's can spend incredible. all day uh, working on this. And the cool thing about this is that different 3D models have different options. So mm -hmm. for example, this one, this you see how this one says uh, dirt wear badge? badge. So then the badge could have a different level of dirtiness. dirtiness yeah. So I could zoom in so that you guys could see what I'm doing. And I'm, all, I'm zooming in by using the mouse wheel, by the way. Okay. And I'm just gonna, oh, it's a little bit, little difficult to navigate sometimes. <laughs> And uh, there it is. I'm trying to get it. Where is it? I'm trying to get the, the dirt. Anyway. Um, That's cool though. You can see, <laughs> I'm going, trying to go back to the badge. There it is. You can see how the badge yeah, changes it's starting when, to get I, a little... when I adjust it. But mm -hmm. anyway, so Very cool. that is um, the gist of it. I guess I'm going to make his pants dirty as well. Yeah. Um, let me go into the dirt wear and increase the dirt level. Um, Anatha is asking, can we record movement of 3D to video? Um, not with Photoshop or Fuse. Yeah. So, so, um, so what we're gonna do, what, what this, uh, this app, the one that I'm working on now, all it allows you to do is to um, Just create, create the 3D characters. model. That's Got it. it. And in Photoshop, um, we're going to apply animations to the 3D model. Mm -hmm. There's, um, I, I forget the number, but it's something about I want to say 2000-ish yeah. um, predetermined animations that you can apply to Adobe Very Fuse cool. models. And then with the timeline, you can control mm -hmm. which you know body position you want yeah. him at, and then you can composite that into a photo. Okay, got it. So Cool. So yeah. Um, also, uh, texture resolution, you can go with a higher texture. I'll keep it with a low resolution for mm -hmm. now just because I don't want to create such a big file size. And I'm gonna try right. to get it into the Creative Cloud. I have a backup um, 3D model in case it doesn't yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna keep the texture resolution cool. low. Um, also, I wanted to show you that there is a um, setting here. Uh, here we go, the fabric. You can change mm -hmm. the color of the fabrics. See this pants? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe he's wearing red pants or, or whatever color you want. Yeah. So you can, you can, you can change it up. Change the color That's of awesome. anything, change the texture. Like I said, there's so many, so many options that we could be here all day so just much customization talking. Customization. Yeah, just available. talking about the yeah. options of, of just his pants. Yeah. You know, so yeah. <laughs> we obviously cool. don't want to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can always come back and make uh, changes to his body. Remember how I was hovering over his body and clicking and mm -hmm. dragging? You mm -hmm. also have control over them with these sliders. See that? Biceps, big, mm, small. That's cool. You know, so I can 
See how his oh, biceps yeah, are that. getting bigger? Yes. So you have that same control with the sliders or just by clicking and dragging directly nice, over the body yes. part. Cool. So, so yeah. Very um, exciting. Hi, Valder. Good afternoon to you. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for joining us. We're here <laughs> with Jesus Ramirez. He's showing us a couple little things on Fuse, which is um, a program that can allow you to create some 3D um, characters. Yeah. And so we're going to be bringing that over to and Photoshop. Photoshop yeah. And that's going to be cool. And then that's the next step. How cool. do we bring this into Photoshop. Well, Are you able to save these characters within Fuse? Yeah, you can save them within Fuse, so you can go into File. So that you can and access them whenever and yeah. bring them over to yeah, Photoshop. Yeah, so I, I mean, you. I'll do that now. I'll yeah. go into File, Save. I'll just save it on the desktop. I'll call it uh, Cop Zombie. Save it. And now Perfect. I have my Fuse file. Thank you for yeah. that. I should be saving often. We talked about that <laughs> <Yes>. yesterday. <laughs> um, Don't want something to shut down on an accident. <laughs> yep. So. Cool. Um, what I can do now is uh, save to CC libraries. I can click on this button. I can give uh, my character a name. It takes the name mm -hmm. of the file, Cop Zombie. Mm -hmm. And I can select on which library I want to save Very cool. this 3D model. So I'm going to click on Tutorials, click on Save. Mm -hmm. um, so depending on the speed of your computer, because mm -hmm. it's going to have to like compile this mm -hmm. 3D character together, yes. it may take some time. I'm on a laptop. It's yeah, going to be somewhat course. slow. I have a couple um, of questions from people. They're yeah. asking if you can do animals on here or and if you can download clothes for Fuse. Yeah, you can't um, do animals. It's just, just human humans. figures. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and you probably can't download clothes then. You, you, just like as what's far as I know, they don't have. Within. I know for sure that you could like. If you know how to like create 3D Pretty models, you okay, can create got your it. own. But cool. um, I don't know if there's. I, I don't believe there's yeah. like a you know like an Adobe store where you can buy a new yeah. shirt or something for the model. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Cool. Well, um, but awesome. yeah. So so now that it's uh, it's Complete. it's gonna be completed and it, it should be syncing into my Creative Cloud library. It's gonna take some time. Um, so I actually have another 3D model that we're gonna um, start working with cool. now. But you know once it downloads as we're working, I can yes. bring the cop in later. I just yes. don't want to spend so much time, um, you know, just waiting for this mm -hmm. thing to upload. Also, um, I didn't know what we were going to go with, so it's not going to be the same exact zombie. It's not going to yeah. be wearing a cop yeah. uniform, but I have my zombie here. Cool. So in your Creative Cloud library, if you have your assets organized by type, you're going to have a group titled models, and that's where you'll find your Fuse your, 3D model. Oh, cool. Uh, you really can have nice. more than one, obviously. I just have yeah. one here. And you can click and drag it onto any Photoshop document. Okay. And there he is. This is the one that I oh saved gosh, ahead of time. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Um, again, we don't want him to look like the Redeemer. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, select this 3D layer and click on the skeleton. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice in the properties panel, we now have animations. So we can Very animate cool. him doing whatever whatever we want. Yeah. So yeah. let me just um, uh, remove the word zombie from the search okay. so that we can just see all, all the, the different, different animations. animations. So you available. can see that we have 123 wow. pages worth of animations. And um, you can apply them to your um, zombie just by clicking on them. So I can click on the... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Animation, and there he is. Now he's dancing. And if you go into oh, Window it. and Timeline, mm -hmm. you can scrub through the animation. Ooh, so now we have our zombie wow, look dancing. At that. That's super cool. See that? <laughs> That's so cool. He is a very good dancer. <laughs> oh, someone asked about the banana. Oh, 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 oh. Why people always yeah. show banana icon on Photoshop? Is it a trend of the end of the year 2019? <laughs> well, the banana tool was added about three years ago, I want to say. And um, just to. Show, uh, show people how to add it. Um, I'll take it away. Um, this is what Photoshop usually looks like on the toolbar. If you click on the three dot icon and go into Edit Toolbar okay. and you hold down the Shift key That's and click so on cool. Done, the banana appears. appears. How you, did you figure that out? How did you find I, it out? Uh, I know a couple of Adobe in, uh, Photoshop engineers, uh -huh. and before it, before the I forget what version of Photoshop that was yeah. um, was released, they they in a message, they said, yeah. hey, there's a banana. Oh, this is how you access so it. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you can 
edit the toolbar, uh, go into hold edit shift. toolbar, uh, hold shift to add it. To take it away though, you need to hold alt and click undone. So it's not the same button. Shift to add, alt mm -hmm. or option on a Mac to remove it. Mm -hmm. And now that we're talking about Easter eggs, I was showing you one earlier. Mm -hmm. If you press control K, command K on the Mac, it brings up your preferences. And if you go into interface, you can hold um, control, alt, shift and click on the- Oh, I love it. A color theme buttons and you get toast or coffee. Cute. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So those are uh, <laughs> three so fun. Easter eggs inside you of Photoshop. You guys have to try that. <laughs> yeah. So you can like, I was telling you earlier, you can make some money and, and bet people that I bet you, you can find coffee, bananas and toast in Photoshop. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> love it. That's awesome. Yep. Someone was like, make, make the zombie do a flip. A flip. I don't even know if they have a flip. Have let's, let's see. Do let's they see. Have I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'll just type in flip and see what happens. Nothing happened. <laughs> oh, I didn't hit enter. There we go. Oh, big front oh. flip. Oh my gosh. Which uh, aerial backflip? Oh, one? yeah, that one. Maybe. That one? Oh, <laughs> he's not even here anymore. Where, where, where'd he go? Oh, he's so high up. Oh, he's so high. Oh. oh. So now we got to talk about the 3D workspace. So um, with the move tool selected, okay. you have these three little um, icons here at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So you can click and drag on them to move the camera. Okay. So you're not really moving the zombie, you're moving the camera. One way to think about it is is your eyes are the canvas. Mm -hmm. So where are you putting yourself in the 3D environment? So are you walking? So like right now, I'm just like walking around the zombie. The zombie's not moving, I'm walking around it. Right. So that's a good way of thinking about the three tools at the bottom. Mm -hmm. The orbit okay. tool orbits the camera. Mm -hmm. The pan tool, you can think of it as a hand tool, almost like you're dragging yeah. up and yeah. down. And then the dolly, tool, you can think of that as like the Zooming zoom tool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So very let's, cool. Let's... <laughs> Voodoo Vows loving this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's get that zombie in here and let's see that that oh, oh my wow. goodness. He's not playing. He's not Look play at him. <laughs> Wait, that's kind of like, amazing. It's yeah. kind of like Spider Man esque in a way. Yeah, so you know what? We... <laughs> Maybe it's gonna be a Spider Man zombie. I yeah, don't know. Yeah. Who knows? Spider-Man got bit by a radioactive yes. zombie. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> um, let's see, I'm gonna try to like, cause he lands like right about here. Uh huh. I mean, that, no, that's like right where he lands. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then we can see him land, so. Oh my so goodness. You just, you just see him coming in. Amazing. And boom. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, look at that. And he's looking right at us. <laughs> right. That's <clears throat> incredible. Yeah, so fun. You can play with this all yeah, day. Yeah, I mean, we don't even have to composite anything. <laughs> we just could look at we're animations not all day. We're anything today, you guys. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> while we're playing around with this, I explained some of the tools. Um, why don't you guys let us know in the chat what type of background we should play? Some yes, in. street, field, um, an alley, <laughs> like yeah, something. Um, give us some ideas yeah, for like what a kind scene. Of background? What yeah, kind of background like, should the zombie be in? Yeah. Earlier I said it'd be kind of fun if it was like at a carnival or somewhere where like there's like, you know. Also, also we got to think about two things, like what kind of background we're going to place right. him in. And the other thing we got to think about is what position. I mean, is oh, he going to be crawling? Right. Is of he going to be just doing the zombie thing? Yeah. Is he going to be doing a backflip? Like, mm -hmm. like what do you guys mm -hmm. think we should do? Um, is this animation heavy on the PC? It depends on how strong your computer is. Yeah. yeah. And complicated the scene is, yes. Uh, Someone's asking if there's um, action yes, for the face. Yes, good question. So let, let, let's talk about that. So you can see on this icon right here, we have uh, like a little person, right? They're doing like a yes, little motion. Motions. Right next to that icon, we have a, a face mask. So we click on that and then look at that. Oh we my have, gosh. see how his oh. face changes? <laughs> yeah. He's embarrassed. Oh. Intense. Um, this one's really quite. His different. expressions don't really change that much, though. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure they're more noticeable when, when it's a like regular a, human. Yeah, <laughs> so like this one, scream, and I'll zoom in, so you can see like. He's, oh yeah, and, there I'll, you and go. I'll rotate it a little bit, so it's more obvious. And, um, so he's screaming, but then, if you scroll down, mm -hmm. um, you can see that there's the strength. See that? Oh, oh wow! Um, yeah. So you have Incredible. all this control over your Amazing. zombie. Really cool, I right? I love it. And not only that, you can. It might be a little bit hard on him because he's a zombie, yeah. so his eyes don't really move. You can kind of see his eyes moving. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> We've got a couple of people saying city, yeah. Disneyland, Disneyland, street with large buildings around, a no. creepy house. Creepy house is good. Um, yes. He has to live in a zombie style Gotham world. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Empty indoor pool area. 
Uh, yeah, we got a lot of people. We got a lot of suggestions. suggestions. We're gonna have to make some decisions soon. Oh my god, amazing! Look at his teeth. Love that. Less, te uh, Less teeth, more teeth. Uh, oh my god, you <laughs> can really get like detailed with this. this yeah. Is so there's a <laughs> lot. I'm gonna be of... like playing with this after. Yeah. This is so cool. <laughs> Yeah, so can I've we got a replace cool. face mask to our own face? So you really, I mean, the short answer to that is you can do anything you want in Photoshop once it's in Photoshop. Right. The long answer is there's no like dedicated tool for that. But what I will do is I would just set the zombie into whatever position mm -hmm. you want, see the position of the face, and then maybe take a selfie in that same position, similar yeah. lighting, oh. and then composite that okay. in if you wanted to. Cool. Um, but you know, there's no like replace face button. Mm -hmm. Um, Someone suggested a cemetery. That could be kind of cool. Ooh, let's do a cemetery. Like that sounds, cemetery. That's a good that sounds idea. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like it, like it belongs. <laughs> let's see what our good friends at stock.adobe.com have. Yes. <laughs> Someone, Lindsay says, I stepped away. Then when I came back, insane things are happening. <laughs> I'm going to have to replay this one. Yeah. That's so don't funny, worry. Lindsay. This will be available for replay um, after. The live stream's over, so you can go to behance.net slash live to this is, this watch is, it over again. Yeah. It's super cool. It's getting dark. Ooh. Um, that's see, this fun. one be cool, but yeah. it's black and white. Yeah. yeah I kind of wanted true. something with color. Um, I mean, let us know if you see something you yeah. guys like. I know there's a yeah. small delay, but we can go back and say, oh, yeah, the one with the flag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, does anything look good? Ooh, to Tim's you? in here, too. <laughs> <laughs> He's, could be home to an entire army of zombies. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can import more than one 3D model. You're not stuck with, right, with one. Right, I mean, true. your computer needs to be able to handle it. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Anything here that you like? Anything that you... I think I saw some, like, up there. That was kind of cool. Um, there was one... Because you were looking for something more color, right? Well, I mean, not necessarily black and white. Not necessarily... Not like, necessarily. even, like, that cross one. This one? That oh, one. Oh, that might be cool. Like, Good eye. Yeah. Maybe there was like another one too up there as well, but maybe yeah, that's that a one's good cool. one. I like it. Um, um. <laughs> or that one right there with the like this one here, the one to the right. Oh, that, this one. Yeah, that one. Okay. Kind of cool. We can try these. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, someone said they love that blue one with the giant gate. Ooh, oh, the blue that the one. Giant gate? That could be kind of cool. All right. What? Well, see, the thing is, <gasps> someone mentioned the upside down. Do you watch Stranger Things? Uh, I haven't seen it in a long. Oh I only saw season one, and yeah. I wasn't into season two that much. Mm. Uh, but that yeah, that could be that could be a vibe. What is the upside down? I, upside I vaguely down, remember because yeah. there's no like like yeah, particles and like, stuff. Yeah, it's like the upside down world. Like yeah. everything's a little like funky. Yeah. <laughs> So um, I, I'm also like, <laughs> as you guys are like selecting pictures that we ch should use, I'm clicking on these little heart icons to just save mm -hmm. them to my library. And if things work uh, the way they should, when I go back into Photoshop and go into my libraries okay. panel under graphics, because I'm uh, saving them by viewing, viewing them by type, yes. I can see these that they're backgrounds. There. Amazing. So what I'll do now is I'll just zoom out just so that I could um, have some room. And I'm not going to worry about the animation right now. I'm just going to yeah. close it. We'll, we can change it later if we want to. That's okay. another advantage. We can always come back and change. Yeah. I'll save in case something, something happens. Something happens, <laughs> yep. Um, there it is. And I'm going to go into my layers panel. And we have the 3D layer. You okay. can tell this is a 3D layer because mm -hmm. we have a little cube mm -hmm. on the bottom mm -hmm. uh, right. And what I'm going to do now is just drag in one of the backgrounds. So oh, which cool. one should we try first? Um, we got the one with the big yeah. gate. Yeah, that's fun. All right, we'll try the one. Fun. All right, so we'll try this one first. Cool. We're just under one minute until chat and win, so make sure you are saying hi in the chat, or um, yeah, or if you have any questions, um, maybe ask them after the chat as well too, because the chat always like goes so fast. Oh yeah. <laughs> during oh yeah. That we got time. It. So. So but, maybe we ooh, should that think. looks fun. We should maybe think about what we're going to <laughs> ask them because the next step is. A little complicated, and we definitely yeah. cannot do it in 20 seconds. So, what'll be a good question? Um, Maybe what they'll be for Halloween. Yeah, what are you guys yeah. dressing up for Halloween? Yeah. Do you have any ideas? I, I'm, I just watched that show Euphoria. And now, I, all I want to mm. do is put glitter on my like eyelids <laughs> and like, <laughs> you know, or like a space like um, cowboy or a space girl. Okay, That'd be kind of fun. Just do like little buns. <laughs> that should be cool. Cool. 
Cool. All right. All right. So we are going to chat and win. Um, say hi in the chat. You get a chance to win some stickers. Yeah. What are you dressing um, up as? Let us know. Yeah, let us know. I need some know. ideas. I have no idea what I'm going to be. Probably. Yeah. Are you going to any like fun Halloween like events or um, parties I, well, or anything? Not if I don't have a costume. <laughs> <'cause> I don't <laughs> That's wanna... true. <laughs> Give them ideas, you guys. Yeah. Cool. All, All right. right we'll be right back. And we're back. Hello. Oh, this is always the, the difficult part for me because everything goes by so everything quickly. Everything goes by so fast. Yeah. We've got some people. Someone said they're not dressing up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does that mean Ooh, they're not? Charizard. <laughs> Someone said Charizard. Oh, nice. Someone said there'll be a bunny. I want to win stuff. <laughs> I want to win stuff. <laughs> oh. Not dressing up. Oh, we don't have Halloween don't... in the Netherlands. Maybe you can start, start Maybe it, Michelle. Maybe you can just start it. Yeah. Just do it for fun. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Awesome. Hello. Oh, we've got some emojis like going Rock on. Rock one, I don't know what that <laughs> An is. An alien, a Charizard cosplay. That's awesome, you guys. Skeleton. Oh, Wednesday from Adam's family. That's a good one. I love. That's like a classic. <laughs> Claudia says she'll be Super Mario and I oh. could be Luigi. Oh yeah. <laughs> cool. Ooh, we've got a winner, Jason. Oh, congratulations! Jason. You'll get a message on Behance um, about how to get your stickers, hundred stickers, which is awesome. You. Can... I'm now curious to know what Jason's gonna dress yeah, up as. Yeah, what is he? <laughs> yeah, Jason. Jason, what are you yeah. dressing up as? Yeah, let us know. If was, you didn't or, win, it's okay. Yeah. We have a deal. It's uh, $10 for, or sorry, 10 stickers for a dollar if you go to stickermule.com slash Adobe Live 19. So make sure you head over there. Mm -hmm. um, everyone's a winner. No one's a loser. Or you can come back <laughs> tomorrow and comment again. Yeah, and, exactly. And, and have and another Until chance. you win. Just every day. <laughs> cool. Ooh, someone's going to dress up as Beetlejuice. Ooh. That's cool. Congratulations, Jason. Yay. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Yay. We'll get back to Somebody into wrote it. banana. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh, just like a banana. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Uh, All right. Cool. Well, All right. I like this vibe already. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. So, <laughs> back in Photoshop, um, yes. I have my 3D layer, and right below that, I have the background. So, we talked about this yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, perspective is really, really important yes. when you are compositing. So in a photo, you really can't change a perspective. There's a couple tools in Photoshop that allow you to sort of distort the perspective, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, you really can't change it. You're okay. stuck with yeah. what you shot. With how you shot it. Yeah, yeah, you can create the illusion of changing the perspective in, in, in different ways. But you can only do so much. You can only do yeah. so much, right. In a 3D world, when you um, click on the move tool, and, and that's something I didn't make clear earlier, uh, where you're, when you're working in Photoshop in 3D, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like to, um, Usually this is not my usual setup, but like at home, how I have my things yeah. set up, I I, um, I usually have my the my hand on the V key and the M key on the keyboard. Okay. And that's because with the move tool selected, you get all the 3D options and overlays. Mm. And if you want to remove them so that you can see the composite better, you just press the uh, M key on the keyboard. And then you, you press the other one to go back. Yep, V and M, V and M. Cool. And why M? Why not something else? Yeah. Well, because I also sometimes want to be able to click and drag, make a small selection, mm -hmm. and then um, on my 3D panel, mm -hmm. click on the render button so that I can render the image to see how it's going to really look after we render it. Yeah. So um, that's one of the reasons why I always use the M key, just so I can, I can quickly uh, make a selection if I need to to, mm -hmm. to render the uh, composite. You can yeah. press the escape key, which is the very top left key on most keyboards, okay. uh, to uh, skip the render. But yeah. Cool, cool. <clears throat> Awesome. Aw, Arya says, and thanks for picking the photo I liked, Jesus. Oh, you're <laughs> welcome. <laughs> yeah, go watch, watch the replay after because it seems like she has to go, but cool. All right. So so how do we much match the perspective on this scene? Uh, yesterday, we were working with a photo of um, my friend's little boy, Alex, and he was, or Spider-Man, excuse me. We don't yes, know if we it's, don't know. We, we don't know. We don't know. So he's standing <laughs> uh, on, a, a wooden, uh, on a wooden floor, and you can see the planks, the lines, the converging mm -hmm. lines, and you can follow those to a vanishing point, which will lay on a horizon line. Yeah. In 3D, we don't have to really do all that work because Photoshop does it for us. You can see that the zombie yes. is on a grid, and you can see this line back here. Yeah. And that's our horizon that's line. Cool. So what we need to do is just um, match the horizon line to the horizon line of the scene. Mm -hmm. In this case, we don't really have any... Uh, you know what? The, the, the photo that we brought in mm -hmm. looks like a composite, so I don't know if the person who composited it together really... Had perspective, had perspective in mind, yeah. but I'm um, just going off by the 
you know, visual clues that the person left, mm -hmm. it looks like the horizon line, which is where the ground plane meets the sky, mm -hmm. will be like Somewhere right about right, here. Yeah. So that's that's what I'm going to go with. So that's the one downside of, of selecting photos that have been composited right. that you don't know if the person who made the composite had this in mind. Yeah, but of course. But technically speaking, this is more or less um, where the horizon line would be in this scene. Mm -hmm. And then you can adjust, uh, adjust it accordingly. So then... Um, we also didn't talk about these control handles. If you can see these control handles here with the zombie. So we talked about the control handles in the bottom left hand side of the screen, these guys. Mm -hmm. Those control the camera. We uh, described it as, as yourself. Where yeah. are you looking yeah. at the 3D model? Yeah, the zoom or if you're going mm -hmm. around it or... Right. Yeah. So then these controls actually control the 3D model itself. So now the zombie is moving. You're not moving. Mm -hmm. See that? Okay. So then the little point drags the zombie in that axis. Mm -hmm. Also, watch what happens. If I click and drag him up, now he's floating, right? Yes. So he's like a flying zombie. But what if you want to get him right back to that ground plane? One thing that you can do is go into the 3D uh, layer with the 3D okay. model selected, the one that's got the little bone. You can go into um, the, the properties panel mm -hmm. and then click on this icon here, which is the coordinates. And you see this button that mm -hmm. says move to ground. And, and he moves, moves to back. the ground. Cool. So if you're if, like right now, I, I think I need to scale him. If I needed to make him bigger, and you know what, I made him too big. He's going into <laughs> the ground. You can see that, right? Yes. Where his arms. If I hit move to ground, he moves up. Oh. Or maybe I need to make him smaller, right? Right. Yeah. Move to ground. So that's you know, awesome. this is that's a really important button so that you can always have your. 3D model on the ground plane. And the reason that yeah. you want them on the ground plane is because there is an, an interactive 3D light and you want the wow. 3D light to affect the ground. So if you manage to get the right perspective and match the ground, mm -hmm. when you apply the 3D light, it'll look very realistic on the actual yeah. uh, ground That's that you really cool. place them over. So it's super, so super awesome. cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> William's like, I need to be on Behance more. So many answers uh, and questions and dope techniques. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you've got a good, you're watching a good stream here with Jesus Ramirez. He's a Photoshop wizard. <laughs> cool. Yep. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out what I should show next in terms of, um, so, so some, something very important is that um, when you're controlling your 3D model, mm -hmm. um, something I didn't mention is you can rotate and then you can scale on an a single axis. So you can make them like super oh. stretched out. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to do that. If you want to scale something proportionately, what you can do is click on this center cube, the yellow one, mm -hmm. and when you can scale proportionately. See that? Wow. Also, here's a, a super fun trick. Look at that. I'm scaling the actual oh. um, so handles. You can kind of see it better. <laughs> yeah, so you can see it better. So cool. if you want to scale the 3D overlay, you can hold the shift key mm -hmm. and then drag on the cube. Not holding the shift key would just scale the 3D model. Holding the shift key will scale the 3D overlay. Very so cool. if you can't see it, if it's a little too small, just hold shift, click, and drag it. That way you can really start rotating the different yeah uh, start really messing uh, with yeah that. messing with the different controls very cool so pretty cool actually it looks kind of funny like this yeah <laughs> it, kind of does. it looks like he's like almost like a dog like about a to like a gorilla or yeah. something i don't know <laughs> yeah so funny anyway so so there he is so um if this if if we wanted to play some on a on a different background, I'm yeah, just gonna show let's you. Just see it. How, yeah, just how, to show you the same like. technique with a uh, different background. So this. Well, is, and then you're playing with different like planes yeah, and or love, you know. And see um, what what looks better, right? Because yeah. one photo may be better, but does it work for the composite? You know, sometimes not. Yeah, yeah. How do you determine like how do you like what's that process for you like when you're kind of compositing or figuring out what images will work for, you know, like what are you so, thinking about? So um, I usually have something in mind um, and I'll do kind of what we did earlier where I'm like either, search. yeah, either a lot of times, I mean, I'm a big fan of Adobe Stock, so I, I go into mm -hmm. Adobe Stock often. So what I'll do is that, what we just did, just start yeah. clicking on little start hearts. Start clicking on things. On the little hearts, save them, save the ones that I think will work into my Creative Cloud library and then kind of do what we're doing now, swapping out mm -hmm. backgrounds and thinking, oh, this would be cool because now I can place, you know, like a flare yeah. here or something. Yeah. You know, so um, that's basically the process. Nice. And we'll do the same thing here. Again, this is yeah. a, this is another composite, so I don't know if the person was thinking about thinking perspective. About it, yeah. But there is, um, the perspective is suggested here. Mm -hmm. So then I can just click and drag this down to, to play somewhere 
he needs to be, like right there. And I can move him and maybe um, rotate him. And now he's like, mm -hmm. you know, just coming, coming through, uh, coming through, just like crawling, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Like um, that. Ron is asking, can you adjust the position of arms, legs, etc.? Um, not uh, so. Let me go back and based and, on like just what they give you, right? Mm -hmm. What the, the options that they have. Yeah, on the, on and the 3D. sometimes you get a little more control depending on the actual. For example, in this back flip, I don't know what extra controls they have, if any. Um, yeah. So, um, arm space. Let me see what that does. Oh yeah. See, so now oh. the arms are wider. <laughs> So, yeah. you know, like there's, okay, oh, and then there's you, like little, little things. Yeah. And you can mirror it too. Th this might not be so obvious on this one, but for example, there's some huh. um, animations where like his right hand will be up, but maybe okay. you want his left hand to go up so you can mirror the animation. Okay, so, and, and that's what you would do in, in this. Um, Very cool. So, um, I know we, we did the backflip because somebody yeah. was maybe asking for it. Maybe can search like a crawl or something. Yeah. So you can actually do the word zombie oh, and they and have some zombie up. animations. Um, they should be coming Biting up. victim on the ground. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, yeah, I mean, this might be a good one for, where, where did where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did he disappear? Oh no, he's over here now. Oh. <laughs> Wait, where'd he go? Where's my zombie? Oh, he's, zombie he's, come back. he's outside of the, see, I'm having trouble getting him back. There he is. Oh my goodness. And <laughs> yeah, so he's, he's, uh, he's hungry. Hungry. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> In this case, you probably need like to make another 3D character, right? right. Yeah, then... you would need to bring in another 3D character. Or maybe you, you can take a photo of yourself on the ground and composite that there in. There you go. Yeah. Um, so, so many ways to go about it. So <laughs> many different ways. And see, once the once you have your scene into perspective, you can yeah. bring in all, all these different animations, and they really look like they belong in the scene because you thought about perspective, and that's yeah. something that most people don't do when compositing. See. Um, he just looks like he's standing there. Yeah, yeah. And what you would need to do is go into the infinite light and try to match the lighting of the scene so that the shadows, you know, match. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And and there you go. That's and, so cool. And just for fun, we're going to go into the third um, image that we yeah. saved and see which one works Let's best. see which one works best. Yep. <laughs> this one's kind of cool. It's a little dark, but kind of cool. Yeah. So this one is um, brings in another interesting challenge. So the okay. photo is rotated, so the horizon mm -hmm. line wouldn't necessarily be straight up against the um, background. Yeah. It would actually be tilted a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's a little tilted. So what we would need to do is match that as well. So I would try to get it in as close as I can into position. And then, it's you know what, it's probably easier to just go, go into. into the, um, let me think about this, the current view camera mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Go into properties, click on this icon, and then start rotating the different um, oh, there you go. controls. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, something like that. Very you know, cool. So that the uh, perspective also matches yeah. with the camera. Mm -hmm. Something I didn't mention earlier that I should mention now, if you're on the current view, mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. click, and I should have done this earlier, I didn't think about <laughs> that. You can click on this uh, camera, mm -hmm. and what you can do is you can click on the drop down and go on save, and I can just call this, for example, sample. Three, right? Okay. So now that camera is saved. And if I were to go back and say, okay, uh, what's the camera for this one? Let me just reset it. And actually, that's not too bad, but not where I want it really. So maybe like right there. So I could save this one. Mm -hmm. And then. But then you can pull up that sample. Yeah. And it'll go. Sample. Oh, so you can save all the different. Two, um, right. So then if I'm like, you know awesome. what? I don't want this one. I want this one again. Um, I can go back into sample three. Oh my God, and the amazing. camera moves. <laughs> so you can have, and I should have done that with every single yeah, step. Just save the camera and then you can move between different. That way you don't have to keep going back in there. And exactly. Like changing it up, yeah. Exactly. Definitely. And the cool thing about this is um, we'll use this one for now just because um, we have a lot of elements to work with. Mm -hmm. So I actually want to place them behind one of the tombstones. So yeah. um, obviously I can, you know, move them in 3D space, right? But moving them into in 3D space doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, he's gonna go behind that tombstone, right? Right. Um, how tall are you? It'll probably he'd probably be about that tall if this were like yeah. a real thing. Um, <laughs> so there he is. Actually, that might be too tall. <laughs> Let me see. Something like that, right? Yeah, something like that. So Especially then, if he's like further back too. Yeah. So maybe he's, you know, coming coming from. Mm -hmm. You know what? Now I think it should be smaller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but that's the great thing about the great thing about Photoshop, right? You yeah. can keep adjusting it as much yes. as you want. Yes. So 
now that I have as long him, as you're on layers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So now that I have my zombie there, he's mm -hmm. you know coming out of the tombstone or whatever. Um, I can actually use layer mask, right? So I can yes. select that layer. I can just make a a selection. Oops. I'm using the quick selection tool, holding Alt to subtract from mm -hmm. the selection. And I'm also going to do the same thing here, just so I can select this tombstone. Uh, Tim's asking, how do you match the size of the zombie? How do I match the, like the physical, or wait, what's it good? How, yeah, do, you how do you match the size of the zombie? Um, so if I really, really wanted to be super accurate, yeah, what I would do is I would figure out how tall, um, a tombstone, tall is. Is tombstone is on yeah. average. And then <laughs> like, try to match it to the yeah. to the zombie, but yeah. Yeah, he's like by eye. <laughs> yeah, by, I guess you can kind of like. I mean, you can eyeball it most eyeball of the time. Eyeball it, yeah. yeah. So then, um, what I'm gonna do now is just hold Alt and Windows Option in the Mac and click. You see how the Sweet. layer mask hid <laughs> those pixels? But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna unlink the 3D model from the mask. That way, I can you know control him, and then he should theoretically oh, stay behind yeah. the tombstone. And I'm also going to right click and just license the image because I like this design. So yeah. I want to remove the watermark, remove the watermark and just work with the high resolution uh, version mm -hmm, of the photo. Mm -hmm. So I'll do that. Cool. And see, it was It'll work take, instantly oh, they today. Know. See, yesterday oh my God, amazing. we had a, yeah, some we had issues, a little, but today, little issue, it, but it, it, this is how it should work. As soon as you click on it, amazing. you should get the full that resolution. That looks really version. good. So there it is. I so like that, it. So what we can do now, actually, is um, even drag them further back and just show you guys um, atmospheric perspective, right? So like when yeah. you're compositing something, and this is probably too big, you know, like make them a little smaller, um, move them to the ground. So we, we have our zombie just coming out of the back there, you know, just walking towards us, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, That's so cool. But oh my gosh. The, the, the problem is that, it, you know, he's got too much contrast. We talked about mm -hmm. this yesterday. We yes. can create a black and white adjustment layer and then just try to match, you know, with a levels adjustment layer. Yeah. Clip it to the layer below. So a levels adjustment layer allows you to control the luminosity mm -hmm. of, of a layer. Um, and then you can clip it to the layer below, create a clipping mask, which means that the adjustment layer will only control the element directly below mm. it. You can see this little arrow here. So this yeah. is saying, I'm only going to control what's below me. Below. Yeah. Very so cool. then I can just tell Photoshop how, you know, yeah. dark the darkest pixel should be, how bright the brightest pixel. See, because I think he's too bright there. A little you know? too bright. Yeah, so he maybe, needs to match his yeah, environment a little bit exactly. better. So I the can, lighting wise. Exactly. So I can keep, you know, making these adjustments. adjustments. And um, here's another thing I'm going to mention, uh, but I'm just going to disable now for this for now. So mm -hmm. this is before and after. And see, okay. it just yeah. he it looks makes a little better. a difference, yeah. When you're working with the levels adjustment layer or the curves adjustment layer, whichever one you prefer to mm -hmm, use, mm -hmm. um, I think levels is easier for people who are just starting out. But overall, yeah. I prefer the curves adjustment layer. Got it. So if I were doing this on my own, I probably would use would the curves, use curves. Uh, yeah. adjustment layer. Cool. But it's just uh, more difficult. And I'm not going to go through like the whole process. But basically, one mm -hmm. thing I want to point out that both for curves and levels, and I'll make an extreme adjustment to prove my point here. Let me see if Whoa. I, don't, I don't know if this is going to be the best <laughs> image for this. Um, but yeah, I think it'll work if I make it super bright. So when you adjust the luminosity of mm -hmm. an image, you also adjust the saturation. So look what happens when I change the blending mode to luminosity. See that? Luminosity? Oh. Normal. So with normal, I also increase the saturation of um, my background. You don't always want to do that. If you just want to control the luminosity without affecting saturation, mm -hmm. you have to make sure that you change the blending mode to luminosity. To luminosity. So see that? Got it. See how now I'm just controlling the luminance values, but oh. I'm not really making it any more yeah. saturated. Yeah. So that comes in handy because what if you don't want the colors to be right. changed? Right. And, and it depends on it's up to what you want. Anything, yeah. And to be frank with you, a lot in a lot of cases, it's it, you know, if you just make a small little tiny adjustment, it's mm -hmm. not gonna make a difference. Right. But if you want But wanna, if you're doing major adjustments where it's gonna yeah. be obvious. Yeah. Yeah. And also some people just want like total control of, of everything, you know? Yeah. Of course. So, and that's Tim how I am. Tim actually has a question. Yeah. Um, he says, what is the current image resolution? Do you have to change it if you start with the watermarked version and license it later? 
um, what is the current image resolution? Well, the image resolution is based on the um, document that I created, mm -hmm. and I brought in the Adobe Stock as a smart object. Okay, got it. So um, I guess I guess yeah, it would be a little bit different if I would have no. Well, I mean, you, I guess you can't really do that because um, I was gonna say if I if I would have started with the watermark version, mm -hmm. um, one of the only ways of doing that is just by double clicking on the watermark version, mm -hmm. and now I'm. Stuck to this resolution, right. but look, okay. notice this thing. This is not a smart object, so okay. the asset will update on the library, mm -hmm. but it wouldn't necessarily update here because mm. this is not the link to, yeah. you know, the, the the smart object. To the smart object, yeah. Yeah, of so it'll be whatever the document size is that mm -hmm. you uh, created. Um, uh, Betty is also asking, without the mask and image being linked, um, which does the clipping use? Um. So the clipping has really nothing to do with the mask. I'm assuming this is the question. So if yeah, I don't, I if I don't, if I don't answer it, then um, <laughs> ask please, <it> <laughs> please ask me again. So the the reason that I um, unlinked the layer from the layer mask is so that I could move my layer, uh, wrong layer. I could move this if I wanted to. Actually, in this case, to be honest, it really doesn't matter because it's a, a 3D uh, model. Right, right, right. But in my mind, I'm always unlinking things because um, if, here, I'll duplicate it just to, to, to show you why my mind wanted to unlink it. So I'll, I'll duplicate that layer. Mm -hmm. um, I'll delete the layer mask. I'll rasterize the 3D model so it's no longer a 3D model. It's just a regular pixel layer, right? So if I were to create um, a layer mask um, to hide the tombstones and I decide, you know what? I want to move my zombie somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Notice how he's missing half his body, yeah. right? Yeah. But if I unlink the layer to the layer mask, now I can move him and the mask stays. So, yeah. so it's so that yeah. I can have that flexibility. With a 3D model, you don't really have that issue, but right away in my mind, I'm thinking I want to be yeah. flexible to move it around. So that's that, that's why I did it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. But I'll delete this layer and I'll keep working. Thanks you guys for the questions. Yeah, this yeah. is awesome. Any questions Any that you questions? guys have, let me know. Yeah, it looks like people are getting some good tips. Um, cool. Yeah, they really like the luminosity blending mode. That's, that's Awesome. Cool. So actually, you know what? I don't think I did a good job on the mask. <laughs> so let me <laughs> just uh, fix that a bit. So with a okay. layer mask, white reveals, black conceals. So I can just paint in these pixels, mm -hmm. right? And there he is. Cool. Um, so I'm going to go to uh, for the next example that I was going to show you guys. Let me just um, clip that again. Another thing that you may want to do, especially on an image like this where there's um, mist and fog, you, you sort mm -hmm. of got to match that as well. Yeah. So one of the things that you can do is double click on the layer, add a color overlay, and just add the mm -hmm. color overlay of the um, fog or mist, and then you can just adjust it accordingly. Got it. So um, maybe if you were further back, so let's see. If you were further back, that's more or less the level of uh, fog or mist that I, I will want for him. Yeah. You know, because he's like way back here. And that's atmospheric perspective. Yeah. So the yeah. atmosphere yeah. Uh, will be between you, mm -hmm. your eye and the person mm -hmm. um, or the zombie. And you need to match that as well. So atmospheric perspective helps you create uh, depth in a 2D environment. I know this mm -hmm. is really a, a 3D uh, image, yeah. <laughs> but not really because the photo is not 3D. Yeah. So we have to fake that depth by using mm. atmospheric perspective. Yes, got it. Yeah. So there you go. So we have so that. So much to think about when you're yeah. you know, compositing, because otherwise it kind of would look like a collage, or like yeah. it wouldn't look like realistic, or exactly you know, like it could actually be part of the image. Yeah. So yeah. we have our zombie here, and you know he's hiding behind that uh, tombstone. What we need to think about now is lighting, and you know your yeah. maybe make it a, make him a little bit uh, darker like that. Yeah. Um, it's totally up to you what you want to do, but you gotta sort of match the yes, lighting of the yes. scene to match the zombie. Um, since you're working with layers, you can always apply um, any adjustment layers to color correct the image. Yeah. One of the things that I like to use is going to the color lookup adjustment layer. Okay. And I like to um, just see all the different ones. Wow. They just apply little, little filters. See that? Yeah. Ooh, that, that, that one's kind of cool. That right? one's cool. So, yeah. So that might be something that I, I go for. Um, the film stock's actually not too bad for this one. So you can 
Um, you have a lot of different options, and actually, I like that one too. Yeah. That's so cool. once you start applying, you know, colors to Color. the whole scene, mm -hmm. matching the lighting, matching the perspective, it starts looking pretty re realistic. Yeah. Quote unquote. Yeah. Yeah, because then it kind of gets applied over the whole image and kind of helps. Yeah, you know. actually, I like the the horror Ooh, blue. That's I the, love that's the, that. Uh, the perfect. Oh my gosh, uh, that's perfect. Yeah, so amazing. And um, just to show you guys, so like now I could come in and just duplicate this zombie, and I think my computer is there. You go. Will it duplicate it as a three D object as well? And you yeah. can kind of play with Control oh, J, cool. Command J. So I have that is so cool. right now I have two three D scenes, right? So if I were to rotate the camera on one, it wouldn't rotate it on the other. Mm. So what you want to do is select both layers and press Control E, Command E on the Mac, which is the, the regular mm -hmm. merge command. And did it do it? No, nope. let me try it again. Usually it should do that. Let me see why, maybe it's the clipping mask. See, things don't always work. Oh, so I think it's trying oh, to do it's it, but to it's, do it. it's uh, taking it its time. So that's one thing I will say when you are, see now it's, oh, that's go. one. So when you are working with um, a laptop, things are gonna get really, really slow. And yeah. some things may not work as fast. I, I What um, do you have at home? What do you I have a, a very powerful PC. Um, I have about eight gigabytes of video oh memory. Gosh. So Amazing. like that makes things go that a little bit faster. A lot. <laughs> yeah. So, so what happens here is now that you have um, two, you see these little two bone, uh, little 3D models. So see, there, there's two, two zombies now. Yeah. Now I can bring one in here, maybe place them closer to, to us, and then maybe do ooh. like a, like a different pose, ooh, right? Yeah, like look at yeah. Ooh, so this I like he's, look, that. he's looking a different way. That is awesome. And maybe I can mirror him because might be cool if he's just looking up to the other side. He's looking the other way. Yeah. yeah. So, ooh, place him like that right is about so there. cool. That's so that's so and fun. There he is, and um, let me. Start clipping these layers together just to make sure that. Uh, Noor is cool. asking: Is this PSD heavy? Does 3D objects take a lot of memory? Um, they they are going to be heavy, um, yeah. but not as much as you would think. Um, okay. The because there's actually a 3D file that this is referencing to, which is in mm -hmm. the in the mm -hmm. library, and that thing yeah. is probably I think it was when I did the mm -hmm. the export I think it was about yeah. 60 megabytes or okay. something like that. So I not... recently like di did a Photoshop file where I exceeded the amount that I could save it as mm, and that's I was like uh, what wait is that? three that's gigabytes never... or two gigabytes I, think I don't it's remember two. two gigabytes yeah and I was like wait yeah. <laughs> how do I save this so my biggest Photoshop file ever has been almost Six, five or six gigabytes? I think no, five. Almost five gigabytes. Oh and um, was yeah. it that one composite with yes. uh, for Adobe? Yes. Yeah. That one. Yeah. And you, when you go past two, you need to save it as a PSB Photoshop okay. big file PSB. Wow. And uh, yeah, you you can only do two gigabytes in a Photoshop file, but it's not That's, a big deal because uh, yeah, usually it doesn't. It's not more than that. I think uh, I was doing an animation, so that, and it had like so many um, frames, so that's why it was like so big. Yeah. So if you have something that big, you go into a large document mm, format, okay, format okay. dot PSB. PSB for Got big. it. Okay. And it's just that's it, good it to works know. the same as a know. regular Photoshop document. It just allows you to go yeah to go bigger. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Cornelian says crazy. Photoshop never did this stuff back <laughs> in the day. <laughs> nice work, Adobe. Oh. So well, it's here now. So yeah. So now, um, actually, just thought about one other thing I wanted to show you. So I we love apply the apply the um, horror blue 3D LUT. Um, it's a color lookup table, and maybe you like the color, but you know what? It's too dark. I like the luminosity mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. original one better. What do I do? Blending modes. So blending modes allow me to just apply the color, which is the hue Ooh. and saturation, but the luminosity of the original. Or maybe you like the luminosity of the color lookup, but yes. not the color. So you can go into luminosity. Ah, okay. Cool. So either or color. Luminosity. So yeah. in this case, I think I like color better. Yeah, and you Normal can always bring down the opacity too. Or, yeah, you know. Yeah, so that's a that. good point. So maybe you're like, maybe you do like the darkness a little bit, the color a little bit. So you just bring it down. Yeah. A yeah. tiny, a tiny bit. Sweet. Or use the blending mode. Whatever, whatever you prefer. Or a combination of blending mode and the opacity. Mm -hmm. Totally mm -hmm. up to you. So many that's different awesome. options for you yeah. to, to customize the um, yeah. app the way that you like. And what I will do in this uh, at this point is mm -hmm. maybe put the zombie like into like a an actual good position here. I don't, I'm not sure I, I like him where he is. Uh -huh. um, what do you think? Maybe to the yeah. left, to the right. Where where should he go? Let's see. Or maybe I will move this one because I kind of like this one here. Like yeah, close it kind of looks us. good there. 
It, like, it's in a good position where it's not, like, in the middle, but just right. Like, what is the rule of thirds or yeah, what is it? <laughs> yeah. One of those. The concepts. There we go. Very cool. And then I could obviously start masking his feet because his feet are too bright for that environment. Mm -hmm. And if you really, really wanted to like get super technical, what you can, you would need to do in here is he's, he's uh, stepping on grass. And if you're wondering why the feet look so pixelated, yeah. this is what I talked about earlier. We need to render our um, 3D model. So I'm just gonna make a selection, hit the render button. And just in the foot, as you will see, it will take oh. about a minute to, yeah. to render the whole you know, 3D project might take, you know, 10, 20, 30 minutes, depending on, on what's going on. Yeah. But notice that as the foot is rendering, it's no longer uh, pixelated. Pixelated, yeah. yeah. So Yeah, you can even tell the difference between what's outside of the box yeah. and your selection. Exactly. So that's actually wow. the final step to uh, render. To everything. Yeah, yeah, to render the image. But cool. what you might want to do here is um, go into the brush tool. Mm -hmm. And um, Everybody should be on Photoshop CC because there's so many more cool things. Cool uh, things on there. Yeah. <laughs> and the reason I'm saying that is because if you're on Photoshop CC, um, you might not see the legacy brushes, which includes one brush that I really like for something like this. Mm -hmm. So if you click on this flyout menu, you can select uh, legacy brushes. And you can press OK. And now we have this folder called legacy brushes. Cool. <laughs> and there's more brushes in there. Yesterday we talked about yeah, the brushes from uh, Kyle Webster. And yes. now these are the Photoshop brushes that were in old versions of Photoshop before mm. Kyle, Kyle's brushes were added into Photoshop, which is what you see there now. Yeah. Yeah. But um, under default brushes in the legacy brushes panel, we have a grass brush. And let me find it. It's um, this one here. I mean, I can use either or really, mm -hmm. but I use the one on the left. Uh, shout outs, I think I talked about it yesterday, but my uh, good friend, Burt Monroy, my Photoshop hero, uh, designed those oh, Photoshop brushes. Wow, that's incredible. And um, so shout outs to him. And I'm gonna go into Color Dynamics and I'm just gonna uncheck that. And let me show you why. Right now, if okay. I create a new layer and paint, notice that my foreground color is white, but I'm painting with white, black, gray, mm -hmm. and all these different shades. And the reason is because of the color dynamics checkbox. If I uncheck that when I paint, I it's just, just paint It's just all gonna white. be solid. Yeah, yeah. so solid the color. color that you have selected. Cool. Right, so I'm gonna make sure that black is my foreground color, and I'm just going to, you know, just paint, you know. Oh, then you can start making. Yeah, because you know the grass is going yeah, over his feet. It's going you know? over his feet. Mm -hmm. So cool. You know, you just want to make things as as realistic, realistic as, as possible. possible, right? Yeah, and totally. again, his feet are too bright. So what I would do for something like that is maybe you know, it's a lot of ways of solving these problems. Mm -hmm. So probably what I would do is I would use another levels adjustment layer, maybe um, you know, darken up his. You know, the brightest pixels are like maybe like that dark. With the layer mask selected in the mm -hmm. properties panel, you're going to see this invert button. If okay. you click on invert, um, it just hides that effect. And I can just paint it paint with the brush in. tool. And I'll use a different brush because now I have this <laughs> the grass. grass. Yeah, I'll just use a soft <laughs> brush. And I'll paint with white to reveal the effect. So I'm just, you know, making his, his feet just a little bit darker. Little so darker. again, so that yeah. it matches matches the yeah. scene better. Yeah. So these are all the little tiny little, little details, nuances little and things. details that mm -hmm. you have to think about when uh, when compositing. Yeah, of course. So um, you could spend a lot of time on all this. Stuff, oh, for like, sure. You for know, sure. Direction of the light, um, mm -hmm. where you know, just everything, <laughs> the colors, the make things that match, especially like when there's like light coming from behind yeah. or whatever, or like a color coming from behind. Yeah, all like the kind of how you did yesterday with the Spider Man. Like, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so so um, now, now that you mentioned that, why don't we why don't we do that? So I mean, I don't know if this scene requires it, but I, I created a new layer. Yeah. Con uh, control. If you wanted to too, like you can even make the like blue come from just the oh, back, right. like yeah. kind of a gradient towards the front. So let, let's fine. try that. I, I I think I know what you're talking about. So let me let me know if this is what you mean. So like maybe enhance this blue here. You mean and there's light coming out. Is that what you're? Or yeah. Or like you know the like what is it? L U T. Is that what? what yeah, the, the blue. LUT. Yeah, the LUT. What does that even? What does that stand for? Lookup table. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I knew <laughs> the answer. That should have been. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So um, let me see if it'll it'll work. So, so basically, what you said was 
I'm trying to see how I'm gonna see now that you said light coming from the back. Now I'm like scratching my head. How can we make light come from the back? Yeah. Um, I was thinking like where the blue is like a gradient coming from like it's like very blue from the back and then like come like oh so out. not as blue in the front yeah okay, or I something see what you like mean. that where the it's like almost like some Got weird it. thing is Got like it. taking over this whole so, area so maybe um, so not so blue in the front is that what you mean something yeah like or that? something where like something's about to like take over this okay. whole area or something like that I don't know that works that's kind of fun. Oh, and by the way, so here's another cool trick, and I was just doing it because I'm thinking of yeah. what you're saying. So yeah. I painted with black on the layer mask, and when you paint black mm -hmm. with a layer mask, mm -hmm. you can adjust the density. And see, that's almost like a fade, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's non-destructive. So maybe, very cool. you know, just a tiny Ooh, little bit. Yeah. And you can see it updating in the layer mask mm -hmm. uh, thumbnail. And I just remember something else that we said earlier. You were talking about the upside down world. Is that yes. So um, we can actually go back and use one of those um, legacy brushes. Brushes, and I'll show people how to get them um, for those of you that didn't watch the stream yesterday. If you click on the flyout menu, or not the flyout menu, the mm -hmm. uh, gear icon here, you can go into um, get more brushes, and that yes. will open up a new window. Um, you need to be logged in with your Adobe ID. You have to be a Creator Plus subscriber. And you have access to over 1,000 free brushes Love from it. Kyle Webster. That's and awesome. you can download them all. They're, I mean, they're all great. The one that I advised people to download yesterday was Concept because they had one of the brushes that we used to create rain. Yes. So. Um, yeah, and you manipulated that and made it yeah. look like. Let's so go with that that's way. where I found the brushes that um, you're going to see now, mm -hmm. right here. <laughs> and there is a snowfall brush but i think it'll it'll give us the illusion of the upside down roll let's see that's cool because isn't it like a bunch of like little particles yeah like it's that? like particles there's like weirdness it's like yeah yeah so there's all these little particles that you were, i don't <laughs> that's so cool so i'm adding my little particles and also like if you wanted to make something like this realistic right like um yeah. you have particles that are close to you and then you have particles that are uh, uh, further away further so they'll away, be smaller, smaller. so and you know what, yeah. instead of wasting all that time, I'm gonna go into the shape dynamics of my um, tool, mm -hmm. and I'm going to increase the count so I can get much, much more of them, and I'll scatter them more like that. <laughs> and then Tim when... says the spatter brushes have a lot of particle brushes. Yeah, That's oh, there awesome. you go, see? <laughs> Thanks for the tip, Tim. Yeah. Um, so I, I made these particles that are smaller in the back, and maybe I can re reduce the opacity, yeah. and maybe I can blur them too. Filter, yeah, 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 definitely. Blur, Gaussian blur, that's too much and just blur those little guys. Very cool. And then, I'm not sure if I'm liking these bigger ones, but there, there they are. Yeah, but they're there. <laughs> um, That's cool though. Maybe I can bring down the opacity. Unique. Yeah. <laughs> Some, uh, Alberto says, new Resident Evil cover. <laughs> yeah, I used to love that game. <laughs> um, but yeah, and the other thing you were talking about that we did yesterday, again, mm -hmm. just to give people options for, yeah. um, their composites is that I could select the just a regular brush tool, and I could just paint Ooh, on my zombie like so, fun. and then change the blending mode. We talked about it yesterday. Yesterday, the color dodge blending mode, and I can double click to the side of the layer. This is a cool trick. If you uncheck transparency shapes layers, you see how that yeah, changes. Yeah, that changes. And then you can control the intensity, so it's like Love a that. light hitting him. Mm -hmm. You know, so just you know, making him feel a little more real. Give him yeah. Yeah. And you can do this, you know, with other parts of his body as well. So just maybe, you know, maybe some, some highlights coming it's in like here. Just like a from, little. Very yeah. cool. Super cool stuff. And also remember, so cool. you can always come back and make changes to anything. So like the zombie, is it this one? No, it's this one right here. So I can rename that 3D layer and okay. call it front. So I know it's my front zombie and this is my back zombie. Okay. So then I have, um, my two zombies, and actually I press Control S to save because I don't want to lose this. Yeah, I know. Under, <laughs> under my front zombie. You had a really long time without saving. That was yeah. scary for some. I know. You reminded me of how scary it is. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh my god, I haven't saved. To not save. <laughs> so um, I can go back into that mask, and remember we have these head controls. So mm -hmm. see, you can control this head, and maybe. Oh wow. You know the head is. <laughs> doing all these Ooh, crazy things, creepy. just like looking at you almost, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. so like he, he saw us, yeah. you know, now he's, he's coming us. for us. He's coming. Yeah, so, you know, maybe show more teeth on this one, make him look more dangerous, <laughs> tongue out because he's hungry. 
Love it. And um, something else like we showed yesterday um, that I like doing is taking that layer, placing it onto a smart object by holding shift. So hold shift on the bottom layer, click mm -hmm. uh, on the top one. And then actually I gotta get the, um, the background as well. So background, hold shift, convert to smart object. Mm -hmm. So cool. And These smart objects are awesome. So actually, for Very this useful. might be a little too big. So I was gonna, oh. I'll show a. Well, it'll work, but it's a it'll little just take too. take a second. Yeah, it'll take a second. So I'll show you an alternative in a moment. But um, what I was gonna show you is the camera raw filter like we did yesterday mm -hmm. with um, Alex's pictures. Oh, did I not include the the? Yeah, see, I, didn't, I forgot to add the the, the, the color lookup. Yeah. So um, something that I like to do. Um, when it's like a big document and I'm like, oh man, it's gonna take forever to convert into a smart object. Mm -hmm. Instead of converting it to a smart object, what I like to do is just put it into um, a group, Control G, Command G. So now that there's my composite, right? Yes. There it is. And with that composite, what I'll then do is press Control, Alt, Shift, E, and that creates a merge copy. Control, mm. Alt, Shift, E, Command, Option, Shift, E on the Mac or smash your forehead up against the keyboard <laughs> and you'll hit those keys. Um, but there it is, right? In cool. one single layer. And then if I convert this layer into a smart object, I can come and apply filters, but you're, you might be wondering, why are you converting that one layer that's mm. merged into a smart object? Well, maybe you know, you're my art director and you tell me, you know what, I really don't like the way the bigger particles look. So just get rid of the big ones, only keep the small ones. Well, I can't now that I converted that into yeah. a smart object. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go open my, my group again. Mm -hmm. I'll make that adjustment. Where's the layer? There. Uh, I'll make that adjustment. And then I'll do a Control Alt Shift E again. Okay. And then I can open up the smart object. Only has one layer. I can drag that one in there. Mm, mask it. And uh, no, not mask it. Oh. But uh, how come it didn't run? Let me see. Is that the right one? Wait, why is that going in? Um, let me try that one more time. That's so weird. Let me let me just close it for now. I don't know why that's not working. Let me just see. Um, open that one up. There it is. Um, I'll just copy it because I'm not sure why clicking and dragging that's not working. But the point is, is that you can. Um, is it because you're on that layer? There. Oh, they, oh. Doesn't matter. The cool. point is, is that you can get the pixels over yeah. to the smart object, and I'll just close it, right? And whatever adjustments, filters, and transformations I applied to this smart got it, object got it, got it. are gonna stick. I didn't really apply any transformations, so let me show mm -hmm. you what I would do. I would go back into the camera raw filter like we did yesterday, maybe adjust the colors a little more, make it more blue. Uh, maybe increase the texture, you know, just make it more mm -hmm. um, grungy, clarity, you know, just grungy, grungy, grungy. Cool. Um, That's awesome. Sharpening. <laughs> um, what else can we do with this? Claudia says, the stream is amazing. Thank you so much, Jesus. Oh, thank you. <laughs> awesome. Um, but anyway, you know, you can make all these different cool adjustments to it. And when you're done, you can press OK. And there it is. Actually, I forgot one. You can uh, go into the FX icon and just make it really green. Remember we were talking oh, about, yeah. green we talked about green yesterday? Yeah, so. That's awesome. This would be like one of those that you probably yeah. add a little. Yeah, there it is. Texture. So this is what I was talking about. So like if, if you're, um, now your art director says, you know what, never mind. I want the particles in there. <laughs> you can double click on the smart object and then, you know, copy, make the adjustments make the adjustment, here. Yeah. Copy the layer, paste it here. It's kind of the beauty of layers. And then Love you can it. close it and save oh, it. Oh, yeah. And the there only reason we did that is because when we, it worked in this project. It took it took a little, a little while, mm -hmm. but it still took a while to um, convert it into a smart object. Yes. But if you were work, for example, me with that um, almost five gigabyte document, I wouldn't be able to convert that whole thing into a smart object. Yeah. It would just my computer would probably just pull just up five buy. gigabyte. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, for something like that, that, it, that this is what that technique will be useful for. You're still working non destructively. Mm -hmm. You're just not pu putting the original layers as a smart object, mm -hmm. just the mm -hmm. composite of that layer. And then if you need to make a change, a change to the composite, you still have the group. You can copy and paste the changes onto the smart object and cool. that's the way to go. Cool. Um, that's awesome. We've got about 15 minutes before the design yep. feedback, right? Yep, about 15 minutes. Um, so make sure that you um, submit those challenges. Um, if you need to rewatch it, um, we Voodoo Val gave that um, little 
challenge, which was to use Adobe Capture and Halftones to create um, a comic book style action pro promo. So yeah, head over to Discord to submit those and we'll be uh, reviewing them. Jesus will be given his feedback. So yeah, about 15 minutes. Cool. So we have some time to um, bring in our cop zombie. Cool. Because he actually- um, Did he make it through? He made it through. <laughs> Took a while, but- But, but he's there. He should be here. <laughs> there he is. Oh my God, there he is. <laughs> so we gotta give him, uh, we gotta animate him. So um, what should we have this guy do? You yeah. Guys, give me a keyword. Suggestions. What, 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 yeah, any, any keyword suggestions? Hmm. Let's see. We'll Maybe he the... can be like crawling. Oh, he okay, crawling. All right. Um, I think there's a zombie crawl here somewhere. Yeah, zombie oh, crawling yeah. forward. There he is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there you go. Rawr. <laughs> I love your sound <laughs> effect. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> oh wait, maybe which is which way should should he be going? Um, maybe like I don't know. Let's let's, let's see. See the timeline. Uh, wait, where is he? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh, they're all moving. Oh my God, I love it. That's amazing. Yeah, so <laughs> Someone cool. said to dance or to climb. <laughs> uh, climb, uh, climb, burpee. <laughs> Neil's like burpee. Uh, I wonder if they have a burpee. Let's see, that's a good one. <laughs> Running away with his hands up. <laughs> burpee. Thanks for the suggestion, guys. Oh my God, there is a burpee workout There's a one. burpee? <laughs> yeah, let's see. Neil's gonna be really happy. He's gonna <laughs> There he goes. There he goes. Oh my goodness. I love it. <laughs> okay, we'll get him right in midair. Oh, wait, wait. No, that's right there. That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That is so fun. Yeah, uh, he's like in right, right there, just, you know, trying to work out. That's really cool. Some way. Like being able to um, kind of control these characters because yeah. I know that can be sometimes like, really hard to find the exact position of something mm -hmm. in a, like on stock or photos. Like, yeah. You might not always find what you're looking for. So right. to be able to like have something like this is like And as really you guys cool. saw, it's it's not that difficult to control. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Albert, so it's like, do the Macarena. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I don't know if they have that. We'll, we'll look it up. Yeah, we'll look it up, we'll see. I'm just trying to match oh, the lighting. Oh, adjust the lighting, yeah. yeah. But anyway, you guys get the idea. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see Macarena. Let's see if they have that. I'd be surprised I'd if they do. I'd be so surprised if they have that. I'm wondering <laughs> if I'm spelling it correctly. Oh my God, they have Dancing oh the Macarena. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> they have Dancing the Macarena. I can't. Uh, let's, let's see him dance. Oh, there he is. He's doing it. He's doing it. <laughs> oh can't. my God. This is amazing. Yeah. This is the best one. This is my favorite. <laughs> That's incredible. I love it. He's like, oh, there, he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who made that one. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but see, like that must be like a really popular thing because I'm sure some, some yeah. engineer was like, wait guys, I got you it. <laughs> yeah, we have to add this. We have to include this. Yeah, this has to be. Shout out to that engineer yeah, for including yeah. Macarena. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> He's that a cop, cool. and he's dancing and the he's macarena. Dancing the macarena. Look it up. Oh, you know? Oh, maybe maybe you can see him shake his booty a little bit. Oh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Love it. All right, good suggestion, guys. Yeah, good suggestion. <clears throat> um. So. <laughs> Everyone's dying. <laughs> yeah. So this is actually a. a Great example now that we, you know, because our art director said, hey, you know what? We need a zombie dancing the Macarena, so yeah. we have to listen. He's signing the check, yep, so we yep. have to listen. Yeah. So <laughs> what I would do is, um, you know, because I, I want this. Nor says, so if there's a Macarena, there must be a thriller. Oh, we're going we're gonna to look for it next. Let me just finish this part. Yes, so I'm just going to press Control, Alt, Shift, E, Command, Option, Shift, E, and then open up that smart object. And uh, I'll try dragging because it should work if you drag it and release it. And it didn't work. Why didn't? Oh, is it because it's a, oh, it's because I have my uh, oh. my um, what do you call it? Uh, timeline on. That's why it wasn't working. It, There's always a reason why something doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's not and, for anything. Not yeah. Just for anything. So anyway, so I brought that cool. in. I can save it, and um, now all those filters that I applied yes. with camera raw get applied to this. So now Amazing. thriller. <laughs> Thriller. Let's let's find out if they got that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. If they have, if they're, if they're working with zombies, that same engineer yeah. would have been like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. 
Let's see. Um, um, Jordan says, Jesus is turning us all into zombies. <laughs> thriller. Oh, no. Thrill. Oh, my God. They have so many thrillers. Oh, my thriller. God. They have part one, part two. They have four, at least. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh my I can't. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. He's doing it. <laughs> that's incredible. Oh man, that's so I love it funny. so much. I love it. Yeah, so everybody's gonna have da uh, dancing zombies. Yes. Yeah, that's that's insane. <laughs> you guys, but you guys have to play with this. After yeah, you guys. This you know what? Shoot. I would love to see what you guys do. Yeah. Like, um, please, please share it. On yeah, Behance. share it on your stories on Behance. Yeah. Tag, yeah, tag um, us. Jesus. Yeah. Yep. Tag Adobe. Yeah, tag us. Um, if you post something on Instagram, I'm at yes. JR from PTC on both Behance and Instagram. So this is my uh, Behance account. Mm -hmm. Right down here, you have all my social medias, yes. Instagram. And it's JR, JR from, from PTC. PTC. If yep. you want to learn more about anything that we've talked about yes. today, Photoshop training channel, the YouTube channel is here also yeah. on uh, Behance. So check it out. Um, so yeah. Yeah, tag him in tag it, us. show it on your yep. stories, anything. It would be yeah, so I, fun to I see. I want to see your, your, yeah. your zombies. Your, see if there's any other cool dances. Your, <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh my God. We're so, getting yeah. real cultural here. <laughs> um, I'm actually really surprised that they had the Macarena. Not, Me too. The Thriller was a good idea. The Thriller was a good but one. But not as surprising. No, not as surprising. Yeah, that's a classic. It's yeah. Classic. I mean, if you got a zombie. I mean, Macarena is pretty classic too. So I, like at the same time, I'm not surprised, but it's, it's, yeah. it's just yeah. like you didn't think of it at first, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, so we have nine minutes before the design feedback. And something that I wanted to do is yesterday we left off with yeah. a little project um, halfway through. So um, I'll finish it up now and then we'll come back to a little more 3D because after the design feedback, we're still going to have about another, what, 10, yeah. 15 minutes or something. So yep. we'll take a quick break with 3D and I'll save this in case I accidentally close it or something when I'm working in the uh, previous project. But I wanted to show you guys um, the example that I started yesterday, but I didn't get to finish because we ran out of time. It was my fault. I wasn't paying attention to <laughs> to the time. And now I need to know if I can find the, the image. Here we go. This is um, the photo here. And actually, I uh, lied to Paco. He's not here right now. But he <laughs> asked me what city that was. And I said it was Reno or something. No, it's not Reno. It's Salt Lake City. Oh, so, got it. <laughs> that shows how much I know about geography. <laughs> um, but anyway, so what I was showing you guys yesterday was how to take this building and expand it over the city. And um, the technique that I managed to show, and I'm gonna show again, actually deals with the um, mixer brush tool instead of the clone tool. And I'll show you why. I didn't really have time to explain why I was ex using the mixer brush. So basically the first step is you need to make a selection out of something that's repeatable yeah. so that we can expand it. So the windows here, you have to be precise on like the edges or like yes. where you're grabbing from. Yes, you have to be precise. Yeah. So something like this, right? So like when I expand that, it's going to repeat those pixels and it'll make the building look taller. So I just press Control J, Command J on the Mac, right? There it is. So um, I could, if I sample just with the clone stamp tool, I really can't repeat the edges. You know, I can just make a copy and then that's it. Even if I uncheck uh, a line, I really can, I can repeat only if I'm like clicking and, and uh, on my mouse and it's really not expanding it. So that, that wouldn't work. Um, I know that some of you may be thinking, well, yeah, but what about if you um, just clone the building from the bottom and go up? And yeah, mm -hmm. you can certainly do that. There's not, nothing wrong with that. Um, but then you may start running into other issues like, um, um, perspective issues because yeah. you know it's not completely um, parallel it's actually and kind of a little yeah a little mm -hmm. little perspective mm -hmm. there yeah so that wouldn't work as well either also I'll start cloning the buildings in the surrounding areas the mountains and all yeah. that stuff so it's not not Ideal. the most efficient yeah. way of doing it so one of the ways that I thought about um, expanding a building would be to use the uh, mixer brush tool. Mm -hmm. With the mixer brush tool, you can um, create, a, oh, first of all, select that layer, go into this drop down, and make sure that you uh, uncheck load solid colors. You want to uncheck that. Um, you can clean your brush if you want to, but make sure that you 
check this first box mm -hmm. and that you select one of the dry options and the brush needs to be bigger than the area that you're uh, that you're sampling. So it's bigger than the area that I'm sampling and then you can hold Alt on Windows, Option mm -hmm. on the Mac, you'll get that little um, bullseye or target icon, um, click on that and now you can start painting. Now it's already working because we set it up yesterday. Yeah. But usually when you first start painting and it doesn't work, and the reason that it doesn't work is because in your brush settings, under brush tip, your spacing is off, so then it doesn't really create mm. an expansion. But if you come back and you bring your spacing to like 5% in paint, it almost works. Maybe bring it down by 1% to 4% and it should work now. See that? Wow. So yeah, you have your that's building. Cool. So now I can go back into my image, create a new layer directly mm -hmm. above that, double click on the hand tool, and then hold shift, click, and drag. Oh, let me get out of the way because my there we, head's oh, right there. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Cool. So, that's awesome. Tim says so many ways to achieve this effect. Um, oh, okay. Personally, I would use step and repeat, but the mixer brush is so also the step cool. and repeat is, is um. It's, it's basically what I was trying to show yesterday. For mm -hmm. some reason, I couldn't get it to work. Um, but the step and repeat method, I think he is referring yeah, to. Yeah, how do you, what, what would that even um, Oh, man, did I, oh, I think I um, deleted my little, little strip, so I'll, I'll try to bring it back. Um, <laughs> do I have it here? Uh, yeah, there it is. So the step, uh, step oh, yeah. and repeat technique that I think he's talking about, um, well, first of all, let me, just make another one so I don't lose this one. <laughs> yeah. So there it is. Um, so uh, there is a technique with um, transformation that Photoshop remembers your transformation. So if you press Control T, Command T to transform, mm -hmm. um, and you, um, let me think about this. Um, actually, I'll duplicate the layer. Um, control, I think you make a selection, Control T, Command T to transform, and then you like move it up. And then um, I think that after you commit those changes, you can. You can just. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. So wow. after you commit the changes, you press uh, Control Alt Shift T. Mm -hmm. For some reason, it wasn't working yesterday, and it's exactly huh. what it did. Yeah. So, so that's the method that <laughs> um, I cool. think uh, Tim is referring to. Yeah. Um, so the, it, I mean, it works as you can as you can see. You just have to. I guess in both methods, you have to remember the steps. I just think it's easier to just. Do one swipe. Do one swipe, yeah. But I mean, you yeah. can certainly do this. There's yeah. no problem. There's so with, many different ways. Yeah, so. there's no problem with doing that. No, yeah, um, very cool. But yeah, so you first have to um, duplicate the layer, um, make a selection around the layer. You can hold Command or Control on Windows to mm -hmm. uh, click on the layer mask thumbnail to make the selection. And then you use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move it up. Once you have it into position, commit the changes and then do Control, Alt, Shift, T. And every time you do that keyboard shortcut, it'll repeat that step. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll keep adding Very to cool. the building like so. So that's, that's awesome. That's one way Thank of doing it. Thank you, Tim. It. Yeah, Thanks so, for, for letting us know. So yeah. So um, this is just uh, another way of doing another it. Another way. Yeah. And um, the one, uh, it, another advantage of doing it this way is that um, so I can make my building right. There's my building right there, right? Yeah. But um, watch what happens if I adjust the, the brush. See? Mm. So maybe I can create like a whole bunch of whole little, buildings yeah. or whatever. So it, it's, it's one advantage of, of doing it this way that you have, you know, the capability of, of creating all of these creating. different mm -hmm. uh, widths with the buildings. But, you know, yeah. at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter which yeah. way you, you, as we said yesterday, yeah. um, it, the technique really doesn't matter. It, 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 what matters is the results and in what context you're delivering those results. Yes. yes. Um, but anyway, so. We have this building, and what I'm gonna mm -hmm. do now is just take the uh, top part here, mm -hmm. press Control J, Command J on the Mac to duplicate it. I'll place it right up here, and um, I'll drag, drag it, it over. over like so. And obviously, put it in, place it into position here. Amazing. Um, I That's can, cool. I can just go like, like right here more or less, and then, you know, do a really quick job masking it. Take your time with your own images, obviously. We don't have much <laughs> yeah. time. I'm looking at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're like conscious of yeah. the time now. <laughs> anyway, I can do a much better job if I had a little more time. But um, there's, uh, oops, my layer mask. There it is. Um, Perfect. Anyway, That's so. really cool. 
So now that I have my building there, I can put these two into a uh, smart object. Oops, that's, a, that's not a smart object, it's a group. Convert to smart object, and now I can control this accordingly. I've missed the... The little bit. Yeah, but... so I'm just gonna... Yeah. Just delete that. That's why we're yeah. working with smart objects, and I can even crop it down to either or. Yeah. Save it. Perfect. And in 30 seconds, I'm gonna try to bend this building. So I'm gonna place the building <gasps> right gosh. here, right there where the original one is, and I'm gonna go into edit, uh, puppet warp, and I'm just gonna add these pins here to constrain the building. Yeah. Zoom out, wow. click on the top one here, and then just bend this. Oh my guy. gosh, that's so cool. And then I can hold Alt on Windows, Option on the Mac, and then you see that circle? Yeah. I can rotate it, and there it is. That's so cool that you can like anchor the bottom part yep. of it too, and so you can only, you only yep. move the top part. That's and then with so a layer cool. mask, I'll paint with black, mm -hmm. you know, just to get the, you know, because the pixels in the background are basically the same, yeah. you know? Yeah. So you mm -hmm. can be a little loose and still get um, good results. And then you might be wondering, well, what about that building that's like right there? And I know we, we got to start the other thing, so it can be like 10 seconds. Perfect. Well, create a new layer. And in that new layer, go into the clone stamp tool. And with the clone stamp tool, just sample something, yeah. something, whatever you want. And again, I'm going quickly here, but you can see the, you can see the idea. Yes. So then bring that back and uh, it's like a little more. Yeah, it's a little more. A tiny little more, but anyway. Very cool. So now we have um, a building <laughs> bending over the city. Amazing. Yeah. It'll be fun to do like a lot of buildings doing it at the same time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, that could be a challenge for somebody. Just take all the buildings and, you know, uh, what is Salt Lake City we say? Yeah. Was? And then just bend <laughs> them all different yeah. ways. Awesome. Yeah, so that's what I was trying to show you guys yesterday when we ran out of time like today, but it's time for design but feedback now. it's time now. for design feedback. Um, so let's get over here. I'm just going to scroll down so we can start from the bottom. Um, all right, so the challenge was to use Adobe Capture and Halftones to create oh, cool. um, a comic book style action promo. Thanks to Voodoo Val uh, for giving that challenge. So so this is Vandom Designer. Oh, oh nice, it. nice. Cool. Yeah, this is definitely like comic book style. This, definitely. This little like halftone. Things. That, that's what it's called, right? Halftone, mm -hmm. that's like the texture, the pattern. Very fun. I love I it. The little dog, it's so cute. <laughs> Super cool. Yeah. I uh, I mean, it's it's pretty good. I would, we talked about this a little bit yesterday. Maybe, I mean, I was gonna say something now, I'm not so sure. The more I, I look at it, the more I think I'm probably wrong, but I was gonna say maybe try to add a complimentary color to the dog, but actually- That's kinda, what I was thinking too. Maybe like, I mean, maybe even if the dog was like a weird color. Yeah, yeah. Like red or something. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, but so overall cute. pretty good. Yeah, very cool. Thank you, Vandom. Yep. All right, and then we've got Lee Designer, also as well. Nice. Love that you guys both used animals. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Wait, are these your cats? I know. Are, the, are is, these your are pets? Are these your pets? Yeah. Very cute. Thank you, Lee. Yeah. Yeah, this is fun. I love how up close so, the, the cat is. Yeah. No, I so think it cute. looks great. Um, so it, generally speaking, like, I, I think that one of the issues that I see with most people who submit the work is, is the typography. Um, I would suggest not just for uh, Lee, but for anybody submitting things, is a, a common problem that I see is that the text is usually not very legible. Uh, got so it. you could see how- Yeah, maybe the, like a little the, bit here, yeah, kind of the starts word, to fall. Yeah, so eight year, the, the word years, you can't really read it. So you mm -hmm. have to be careful with um, the color that you use, the font top that you use, and think of what's in the background behind it, mm -hmm. and if it's gonna be legible for people. Yeah. So that's just or something to keep in mind. Or maybe just moving the text um, somewhere where it's not gonna be, right. you know, distorted like this, maybe like exactly. somewhere. Um, yeah, just somewhere on the side, maybe even a little smaller or something oh, like Bandana that. Oh, Bandana said that, yeah, she is, that's uh, Lucha. She's called Lucha, oh, oh how Lucha. cute. Lucha's very cute. So I'm curious to know in the chat, um, are you, Guys, dog people or cat people? Yeah, so dog I was a dog person for most of my life up until about nine years ago when I got a cat. Now yeah. I'm now a you're converted. completely cat person. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm Aww. like that crazy cat lady from The Simpsons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cats or dogs? Which is your fave? Or both? Or both? Yeah, yeah. you can. I like them both. Not both. just I don't like dogs anymore, but I, I cats. Def I went from like, no, I'm a dog person. I'm a dog yeah. person, and then I got a cat. And I'm like, oh man, I'm, you're like, I'm oh, definitely man. a cat person. Now. <laughs> Awesome, thank you, Lee. All right, so let's take a look. 
This is Mir. Um, I don't have enough time, so here we go. This is the original. <laughs> that cool. sounds like my life. I like it. And then here is the edited version. We got it. I got oh, it. it looks really oh my good. Gosh, it looks so it looks fun. Looks really good. I like the. Um, can I get? Because I don't have it on my oh screen, my God, so I yeah, have to get like course. super close. I really yeah. like that pattern. Love like, the pattern too. It's kind of like a couple colors. It looks it very like, like 3D ish. Mm -hmm. You know, it's super cool. Really yeah. like the pattern. Good job on the yeah, pattern. Yeah, good job. I love the colors too. Yeah, excellent job. Yeah, and I like that you use like your own original image mm -hmm. too um, in your little text bu bubble. Very positive and. Love it. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Mir. <laughs> oh, people okay. are typing cat, dog. I'm a dog and cat person. I know. <laughs> okay. I think this was from yesterday. Dog life. <laughs> 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 Let me see if I have anybody else from today. I think that's it for like our these little ones. We can maybe review a couple more from yesterday that got okay, submitted. Okay, that'd be cool. Yeah. So oh my God, Carol's yesterday. cat uses the toilet for number one with oh. no training. <laughs> <laughs> wow, smart cat. Oh, and let me I tried to look. teach my cat that and it was a, a disaster. We've got a little connecting oh, issue. No. I know. Let me take a look and see if I can refresh it. Oh no! Oh, no. Let me see if I can get in, in, in mine. Yeah, I don't know. I don't Maybe know I got kicked out on accident. I don't know if I'm logged into uh, Discord. I should be. Let's see if it works. Um, Ooh, let me, yours looks promising. Wait, is where would it be? Current so challenge. So it would be current challenge. Yes. So yeah. go all the way down. Yeah, we only had a couple submissions for this time around for this I'll challenge. I'll let you navigate. But yeah, you're, go you're all the, the way pro, down. The oh. oh, awesome. Keep going down. We were right about. Let's see if anybody's submitted actually recently. No. No, huh? Okay. Let's look. Cool. So we were right there. This was from yesterday's yesterday, challenge, okay. which is cool too. Which was double exposure? Was yeah, it was a double okay. exposure to create like a movie poster, I believe. Okay. Yeah, which is super fun. So um, the first thing I noticed is something that I, I just mentioned earlier, that yes. the text is not very legible, uh, October 2019. So I would you know, yeah. maybe work on that a little bit. And in, in, in this case, probably the easiest way of fixing it maybe is just making it a, a little smaller so just over her shirt and then yeah. you'll be able to see the text. Yeah, or, totally. You know, or just like a lighter purple or yeah. something. Something, something that even just makes like it, the top um, Yeah, something text. that just makes it a little more legible. Yeah. Um, Love the Starry Night though. Yeah. That's really fun. I would consider maybe applying some of those colors onto her face. If you mm -hmm. remember from yesterday, um, mm -hmm. Micah submitted a, a composite that had like purple and green on one side. So mm -hmm. maybe just doing a little bit just with- Just doing a little bit of that. Of that, yeah. Or even like, in, yeah, having that like uh, starry texture mm -hmm. like in her, like kind of the sides of her face yeah. or something just so it yeah. kind of peeks through. And like a, a cool trick, um, cause you don't have to, if you're like not advanced and just starting out and you know, you don't have to get into all the fancy adjustment layers to like try to match the color luminosity and all that. Mm -hmm. Like a, a very simple trick is just to um, duplicate that background layer, place it above her, blur it so that you can only see the colors and then mm -hmm. change the blending mode to color and then reduce the opacity. Ah. So you kind of start already at least giving hints of the color in the environment. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like a super quick way of, of getting decent results. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Great. Cool. Well, who was that? That was for from Pink Plup. Cool. Thank you so much. All right, let's click out of there and go into the next one. Is is it's, this is also from yesterday's okay, challenge cool. as well? Nice. So this is the final look. I I like Ooh. it a lot. I it, there's a lot of things going on. It's like an eye, but also like an I was, ocean. I was yeah. I was thinking, isn't it? Because I'm seeing I'm seeing the eye. I'm seeing mm -hmm. obviously the woman with the camera. Yeah. I'm seeing the ocean, but I, I'm also, and tell me what you think. I kind of see like maybe like a storm, you know, like one yeah, of those. Yeah, um, like a black hole or like yeah. a. Yeah. I mean, Okay, there's definitely like a little bit of, yeah, there's definitely ocean because like there's, oh, a, there's a boat, boat right yeah. there. Oh, there's a boat, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then like the iris or like an eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can yeah. kind of see it. Super cool. Maybe even like that, that's kind of like a. Kind of be also like a lens oh, or yeah. like something. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I think know. you're right. Yeah, because yeah, there's like that big highlight <laughs> yeah. there. I don't think a person's eye yeah, has that. Yeah, I don't think that. <laughs> mechanical. No, but That's good job. That's very cool. Yeah, good job. Love the colors. Yeah. yeah, and I can see that texture coming through. And I think well. this is like what like double exposure is all about. You know, like you um, really can't tell where things end, where things start, which yeah. which is from what photo. So I think this is a really good one. Yeah, cool. All right. Ooh, Ooh, this is a nice one. I love that. See, like, I really like the type on this one. It's yeah, really I nice. love the type. 
I love the uh, white space too. Yeah. So like now I'm thinking, should I read it bear or B R? B R. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> B-R. yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, yeah no. the bear looks really good. And awesome. I really like double exposure effects like this one where like the, for example, the ear is, mm -hmm. it's taking the shape of the, the mountain. mountain. Yeah, so that's it's super back, cool. Yeah. Like that's that's really when I, uh, when I really enjoy double exposure effects. We talked about it mm -hmm. yesterday, how recently I've been into like photos and composites that have a lot of negative space. I like, yes. I like how the bear's like way at the bottom and there's all this yeah. white. I know there's text there too, but there's still a lot of yeah. negative space. I think so I think it looks really too, cool. This is great too, because the text is in a spot where like it's really legible and really kind of stands out too. Yep. Um, so that's awesome. Nice. Great job, that was from? This was from? Matt Jenkins. Matt Jenkins, yeah. Cool, thank you. And this then is from this Fanny. is from Fanny. Uptown Town Stories. Stories. It seems okay. like a maybe like a novel or a yeah, movie. Yeah, or a movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very fun. I love the cityscape, the city. I, I would, because I'm getting the impression that this is maybe like a photo of a window and you can see the reflection of a person. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. If that's what the intent was, I would love to see like what blending mode she, uh, he or she, she uh, Fanny, Fanny, yeah, Fanny, Fanny use. Um, because maybe the light and blending mode might be better because it kind of like mimics how like a reflection would work. But I don't know, mm -hmm. I would have to see the file. But. Yeah, yeah. No, but that's cool. But I like- I uh, like the colors. I like the colors, yeah. I'm curious what it would look like if the town was also the same mm -hmm. font too as that. Right, right. But as far as the double exposure, it looks It looks, looks fantabulous. Awesome. Yep, awesome. Ooh, okay, Diana, Natalie. Secret, uh, memoirs, memoirs of the, of the secret, secret Sea World. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> cool. That's fun. Yeah, see, like, I, I think she was doing a great job in the typography, but then it went down to the coming soon, uh, coming soon and now it just, like, kind of gets lost. Yeah. So I would, again, just, just, I Be mean. mindful of the, yeah. where the text. And a lot of times, I'm, I know it's difficult to see the mistakes that you, I don't call them mistakes, like the imperfections that you make. Um, when Happy you're, accidents. Yeah, when you're making. <laughs> Uh, your your project. So there's a couple of things that you can do. The, the, the easiest one is just to walk away for like five minutes, come back and look at it. Yeah. And you might be like, oh, okay, now that I had some time to like just forget about it and, and see in it, I, I can actually tell that something is not right. Mm -hmm. If um, if you don't have the time, um, uh, there's a super cool feature in Photoshop under view, mm -hmm. which is um, flip horizontal. So this doesn't actually flip the image. Um, you don't distort pixels anyway, it's just the view changes. So in the view changes. So you just flip it horizontally, sometimes you might catch mistakes that you didn't catch uh, before. Okay. So that might That's be- That's interesting that, way of like kind of- Yeah. But in, again, if, you, if I were to save that file or export it, it'll be the original way. So I'm not yeah. distorting pixels. Got it. But got anyway, it. so it might be like a good way of like, for you to like mm -hmm. see something that you've made in a different way. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think that um, it, it would help for a lot of these for you guys to take a step step away for a little step bit. Step away come from back. the project, come yeah. back, and look take at a little walk, angle. something. Yeah. I know that's so important as a creator. Sometimes like you can get really stuck on yeah. an idea or like you're just really like trying to force it. And yeah. sometimes you just yep. need to like back yeah. off and, for like, a second. <laughs> Like a lot of times, um, it, it's happened to me this week where like I, I was working on something mm -hmm. and I worked till late one night, the next day I look at it, I'm like, oh my God, what was I thinking? <laughs> yeah, you're like, scrap yeah. that, don't yeah, yeah, exactly, and I, <laughs> I didn't use it, but you know, you might spend a lot of time on something and just realize, you yeah. know what, it's not working. And, yeah. and it, it took like a night of me to sleep to, yeah. to like forget about sleep it. Sleep on it. That's yeah, like sleep the, on you it, know, exactly. Sleep on it. And no, it, it, it wasn't yeah, going to work. Definitely. Ken says, wish I had done that with my Terminator trailer submission. Changes I made the next day made it so much yeah, better. Exactly. Which, yeah, totally. Yeah, that helps exactly. a lot. So thank you, Diana. Yep. Um, and this is from uh, yeah, Diana and Natalie. Perfect. Thank you. And then this is P40. Here's my attempt at the layer masking. Nice. Ooh. I like that you kept black and white. Yeah. Or like mostly black and white. I can yeah, see mostly. a little hints of green. Yeah, yeah. There. Little hints of green. It's nice. And I think there might even be like a... Oh no, no, I see, like, I like this that I have to like really look to see what's going on. Yeah. Because I thought there was maybe like a third photo, but now I see yeah. that that's actually what's her that hair. What's that little like blue or like? That might be like a little, like a little water, like they're like, oh, it might just be like the water on the rock. You know, okay, cause it looks like, like there. stream or Yeah, because it looks like there's like a little stream, yeah. a river, wh whatever it is. And then there's like that little pocket of water, like just on the rocks. Yeah, cool. Super cool. No, I like it. That's awesome. Super cool. And this was Thank from you. Thank P40. You, P40. Ooh. Oh, Wait. okay. Oh, it's up here. <laughs> I'm like. 
I don't know how to pronounce Back that. Morse. Back Morse. Yeah, Back Morse. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's Movie poster for uh, five. They chose number yep. five. Okay. No, really, really good. We, you you were talking about the, the rule of thirds earlier mm -hmm. in the stream. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming this is what he did. Placing the main subjects on the you know side of the image as opposed mm -hmm. to right in the center, which I think uh, yeah. works great. In yeah. this one, I, I, I'd be actually willing to say maybe even make the, the man playing chess even um, lighter so you, we see more of her. And his, you can only see like parts of him. Parts of him, yeah. I think that might look mm -hmm. a little bit better. Um, again, I'm really into the negative space right now. So yes. I'm thinking so that. So you're like, yeah. <laughs> love it. Yeah. <laughs> Is, cool. is, isn't it weird? Do you go through that where you go through like faces that you just like a certain style for whatever reason? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's you know sometimes it's like the the trendy thing too, or yeah. like something that just yeah. you're like, oh my god, I like even I used to hate the color pink, mm -hmm. but pink looks so good in photography. Mm. Like to me, I don't yeah. know, it just like it pops, and now I like love, yeah. love it. <laughs> so weird. Yep. No, but cool. overall, good job. Thank you, Back Morse. Uh, Back Morse. All right. Do we have any more? Go in. Oh, Ooh, this is Voodoo oh, that's Bell. for today. Cool, I love let's, that. Let's check out Voodoo Bell. Nice. <laughs> excellent I dig job. it. Yeah, I dig excellent it. Excellent job. Love the texture. Yeah, the colors are so fun. She I has that same texture too, where she's it's like overlapping. Yeah, it's the, super cool. Um, have to. I'm wondering if she knows who this person is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and this is EMX. Layer mask. When was it? Is the for yesterday? From yesterday. Yeah. Yep. Super yeah, cool. we've got some couple people who are um, turning it in after the stream, which is cool yeah. too. Super cool. Um, I really like the style because the um, oh, good job. The tattoos um, really match like the, the background, feel, the yeah, background, the scene. Yeah, the one thing that I'm, I, I think it's like 99% there. The one thing that I don't particularly like is I don't think the coming soon, even though it's legible, I don't think it goes with the feel and style. Mm -hmm. of the rest of the image you know it's very yeah. grungy very artsy yeah yeah and that's like very corporate i almost wondered if cold. yeah if like if it was in this kind of text but maybe just the date yeah you know yeah. or something like yeah. that but yeah very yeah. cool yeah just just that font i would just swap it out to like something more playful sort of speak like the rest of the image yeah it just Great. seems too like cold <laughs> or it's all right let's see oh the oh, wisdom of the wisdom of space Super nice, Ooh. like it a lot. This is like, a, it looks like a book cover to me. Yeah, it kind of does, huh? Yeah, I think it looks right. I don't really have any uh, things to say besides I think it looks fabulous. Yeah, it does look like a book cover. Really, really, really good cool. job. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. And do we have any more? Vesmadu? Oh, that's really pretty. Yeah, the colors the look colors fantastic on this. Yeah, good job on this one, excellent colors. Yeah, kind of I'm job. always like curious to know like where like people find their images too. Like if they're using Adobe Stock or if they're just going online yeah. or like you know. Well, for those of you that are in the chat now, let us know where you find your images. Yeah, yeah. let us know where you look for your stuff. Yep. Um, thank you guys for submitting. Whoa, did I <gasps> close it? Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what am I doing? I don't know. I'm gonna use the mouse because apparently I can't. I can't. I don't <laughs> know how to use the trackpad. Uh, cool. This is from uh, Leslie, Leslie Higgins. Higgins. <clears throat> oh, super cool. I like the fish overlaid <laughs> yeah. on top of the bear. That is super cool. Good, good job on that. Yeah, that's fun. Really good job. The one thing I would say though is the color matching would maybe help the image just take it to that next level. Mm -hmm. um, just because I really like, I both like the colors of the background and the foreground, but I just don't think the two colors Go mix or like, well together. Yeah. But I would either change the color of the background to match the bear or change the bear to match the background. Mm -hmm. But um, besides that, I think it's great. Yeah. And maybe um, just a small, small critique on the, the masking on the on the fur of the bear. Because they were doing it here. You see that? Yeah, the fur? it's like detailed right there. And then they were like, screw it, I don't have time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which I do like, all the all right, time. All right, all right, uh, let's go. That happens to me all the time too. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, cool. Okay. And then, let's see. Yeah, I mean that's pretty good. I think we've gone through a good amount. Okay, this is this is the last one from Jim. From Jim Bargo. Bargo. And <laughs> <laughs> I love the big face. <laughs> so we talked a, a little bit about this yesterday, like um, just masking the face and putting it there um, might not be the best way to approach it. Maybe 
mask the background so that it's over the face. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's probably the way that I would go about this. Yeah, yeah. Yep, but cool. good job, Jim. All right, so let's get um, back to... Yeah, let's get back to Photoshop. Let's get back to Photoshop. So people are posting where they find their images. Yeah, Unsplash, Pixabay, Pe yeah. Uh, Pexels, Google, Adobe Stock. Yeah, Adobe That's Stock. Good. So one thing about um, Google, do it for practice, do it for fun, but do not like do it for client work or yeah. for maybe Make interesting. Make it a habit to, <clears throat> to get that license. Yeah, so when I first started out with Photoshop, like many people, I, I don't even know if I was using Google, but I was definitely using photos from the internet. Yeah. Um, this is, you know, 2000 or 2001, something like that. And I made a composite that a magazine really, really liked and they wanted to buy it for me, but I couldn't sell it because right. I didn't have the rights. <sighs> And I tried to recreate it using like photos that I could get the rights to, and it just wasn't the same, and it wouldn't work. Aww. So that's such a bummer. It, it's 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 okay for practice, yes. but if you're gonna spend some time and create something cool, yeah, I would recommend Adobe Stock or, or, or some something that gives yeah. you the legal rights to sell it. You know. Yes. Yes. Cool. <clears throat> All right. Let's get back into Photoshop here. I'll zoom out yep. of your oh, thing. Thank you very much. Cool. And um, let's go back into how much time do we have? About what ten minutes? Is Got about one? like five. -ish oh, five-ish. Yeah. Minutes. Okay. Um, since we're working with three D, I want to show one other thing that might not necessarily be the best um, for this particular composite, mm -hmm. but I'll still bring it in just to show you guys um, this super cool technique. Yeah. Um, let me just think of the best way of doing this. So. Um, you can actually, we, we created a 3D model inside of Adobe Fuse. We yes. brought it into Photoshop through the Creative Cloud library. You can also create 3D models in Photoshop. You can't really um, model a zombie or a character. What you can do in Photoshop is you can extrude a shape. Mm -hmm. So if we have like our little Adobe Illustrator logo, <laughs> we can extrude it and we can make it thicker. You know, you can think yes. of it as pushing uh, dough through like a cookie cutter. Okay. You know? And um, we can then use that 3D model and we can apply the colors and reflections of the 3D scene to make it seem as if that's in the scene. So that's what mm -hmm. we're gonna do next. Cool. Um, so we have about four oh, minutes left. Perfect. <laughs> um, you know what, I'm gonna do it in a different photo just because I don't want this to be so slow since we don't have that much time. So let me see what will work. This one should work. Cool. And um, just so that my computer doesn't slow down too much, <laughs> I'll save it and close it. Um, I know, because you're working with a pretty Yes, even, pretty even saving style. it now is taking long, so what I'm yeah. going to show you guys right <laughs> now may just be too slow. So I'm just going to um, do like an A for Adobe. You know, you can put whatever word or text you like. I'm going to make it um, actually spending too much time on this. Um, I'm just going to go for Proxima Nova because I know it's got a nice uh, thick font. So that's um, Proxima Nova. And then I'm just going to use mm -hmm. black. So A for Adobe. And I'm just going to make this A so much bigger, <laughs> like so. Right? There it is. A. If you go into 3D, you can get a new extrusion from your selected layer. This is going mm -hmm. to do that cookie uh, dough cutter thing that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. okay. You can then rotate uh, the text, you can see that there. Yes. Under properties, you have uh, the uh, shape presets. And I'm going to use this one here called float. And it just floats my nice. my text. And I yeah. just want it so that it has this roundness to it so that it can catch reflections. Um, the way that I'm going to make it catch a reflection is by creating an IBL image based light. And you can make one by going into the uh, background here. And I'm just going to copy these pixels. Okay. Edit copy the background. Then I'm going to go back into my 3D layer. Under environment, I'm going to go, I'm going to go into the IBL image based light mm -hmm. and I'm going to go into edit texture. And the texture by default is going to be that little thing there, which is not what we want. I'm going to paste my image, but obviously my image doesn't <laughs> yeah. show, so I want to see everything. Image, reveal all. I'll Ooh. close it, save it, press OK. And now the 3D model is going to be catching the light or and reflections mm -hmm. from this file. It's taking a, a little bit, so let's give let it a it second here. 
<laughs> especially when it got like two minutes left. Oh my God. <laughs> There's nothing more fun than looking at, at, at the progress. And I, you can't see the progress part because it's like right behind me, but it's like at 75% right now. <laughs> um, Ooh, there you go. Almost there. All right. So did we, did we do it? Almost there. 99%. Almost there. Come on. Oh, uh, still going. Uh, the suspense, you guys. Yeah. All right. There <laughs> we go. <laughs> So I'm going to go back into my little A and I have all the inflation materials. You see material, if I change the diffuse, it changes the color to whatever I want. Um, yeah, I'm glad I def that I didn't do this with the zombie one. But anyway, yeah, no, so see, I can, no I can change the color, right? But that's, yeah, Under the fuse. Cool. So that's not what I want to do. I just wanted to show you guys that option. What I do want to do is I want to increase the reflection on all the, so I held shift and click mm -hmm. on the top, bottom one, selects them all. All the materials, I'm just going to increase their reflection. See Whoa! That? And see how That's now so cool. the background is being reflected. So I can click on environment and then I could um, click on the move tool uh -huh. and oops, environment. Come on, environment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! About one There's minute. There's so left. much we want to show you guys. Yeah. So much that anyway, to show you. if I were to, if my, if I was, in, there we go. Environment, and I can click and rotate Ooh, on the A and find where so to cool. reflect. You know what? What areas of the street is going to reflect? And then there it is. Yeah. I can go with the infinite light, and you know, adjust just the lighting. Adjust. Yep. And then when I'm done, I could just render my. 3D text, and, then and then I could have done go. that with the zombies as well, but as you saw, it was just so it's, slow it's just with the letter. Much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, cool. but we did it. We <laughs> did it. Um, thank you guys for joining us on day two of this awesome live stream with Jesus Ramirez. Uh, make sure to go follow him or go check out Photoshop Training, Photoshop channel, training channel on YouTube. Yep. Um, you can be able to watch the replay of both of the live streams from yesterday and today um, on Behance.net slash live. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you guys so much. And thank we'll you very see much. You next time. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> bye.